Uh, do you not know who uh, Jason Bent is? Yeah, funny guy. He's Bro. Just What's his real name? Uh, you know his real name is not his real name. When he used to um, oh, he used to do like funny pranks in it. Bro, he's even done the city. He he jumped yeah, on the pitch at city and he pretended he, city, he was warming he up. On, Joe Hart was there. It was the purple? The was the purple training uh, top warm up uh, kit? Well, he, is that what he does? Bro, he, he just goes any no. But he oh, do you know what he did the the biggest thing he did was set blatter and he threw the money. Oh in yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 that, yeah, that, that guy. guy. So he but Lee, he, Lee Nelson. Yeah, but that's not even his real name. Uh, yeah, it's not. It's that's not. what I mean. Mm. That's it's crazy. So he had a he had a comedy called Lee Nelson's Well Well Good Show. Good Show. Yeah. Um, and he he did a character. Alright. Yeah, sorry. I used to watch it at seven p.m. No, no. So he had a character called Jason Bent in it, like a fake yeah, footballer, yeah, yeah. and he'll do skits in it. But it was the funniest thing funniest ever. Bro. Thing but I think his real name is Simon Brod- Brodkin or something still like about. that. He's still about, but he don't do. He's not. He fell up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he still oh, does. Right he still now. does that like, stand up and that. Oh, okay, but okay. nothing. Nothing. BBC too crazy. Three was elite. Yeah, BBC Three was. BBC Three was unreal, bro. That channel was lit. It had everything. It had that. It had Linus. It had Angry Boys, some Australian thing as well. It had Jacker. I thought, yeah, no, that was Channel 4. Oh, what's the one where there's, uh, there's the like one so that? many different p- characters? In yeah, that, it's an Australian one. What's that? There's an Australian guy, it's called Angry Boys. I don't know if he's No, 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 it's right. not that, it's something else. Are about shows on BBC3? Yeah. 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 It might have been there Channel 4, though. There was that show that used to, um, when the, the, the parents would come on holiday with, the, with, with their kids. Y- young Dumb, no, no, not Young Dumb. Um, oh. Walsh looks his parents. Nah, it was basically. There's Wall Street's parents. That was BBC Three. Yeah, basically, but that's BBC Three. You know, it's, yeah. Yeah, so basically, yeah, you know, young dumb and living off. M- no, no, yeah, I yeah, know what you're talking about. Like you know what I'm talking about. When, when, when and they'd go the watch them on the side. Yeah, the white girls. They go yeah, out and find that, and the parents would come. Oh, they didn't know the parents were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they'd come right at the end. Bro, they say, "Yo, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna get back." Oh, bro, it was mental. That unlocked the memory, you know. I forgot that show, though. And, 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 and then they come and get back. Clearly, cop they go to see Stacey, yeah, yeah. Rory, and they're in a the yard and they get yeah, interviewed. Yeah, but they're like, no. yeah, I don't know what she's doing. So, what they'll do, they'll, they'll cut in it. So, they'll, yeah. they'll interview the parents here when in the yard. They go, What are they getting up to? I don't know. But I know she's like, And then, next scene, you see her in the club room. Yeah, yeah, she's going <laughs> mad. No, that's not. Nah, I remember that sort of No, but I can't like BBC3. They were nah, fun. Was they real, bro. Bro. There was the wedding one as well. Where the don't tell the bride. Don't tell, don't tell the that's bride. That's my show. You know, that was I mental. That. Bro. Little Britain. <laughs> yeah, Little Britain oh, was amazing. No. Bro, don't tell <laughs> the bride. One guy <laughs> went to a Britain casino. We went to a casino. Black, we go <laughs> Las Vegas. Um, red, we stay in the UK. It went black. Bro, he invited three people <laughs> to the wedding. <laughs> the, ting <laughs> the ting was fuming. The ting was fuming. Her head was hot, bro. She got, shit, she got to the wedding fuming, bro. He had the best time of his life. I remember one year, the guy took the girl, like, he had her blindfolded, yeah? And then, yeah. bro, he took her Alton Towers or something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you joking? No. Yeah. Well, like, on a, on a, as a date or like just No, a wedding, day, wedding, wedding. No, that's crazy. Nah, yeah, that's I don't crazy. know where they get this from, bro. No, nah, that producer was elite, whoever that was. No, nah, yeah. BBC3 was the best. BBC3 was too crazy them times. Little Britain. Cause first I don't know how they got away with that, yeah. And then someone said, "Yeah, come fly with me." Come fly with me. Yeah. After that, have you ever watched Come Fly with Me? Oh, I think so. The, the airport. One episode. The airport. The airport bro, it's, it's the same. It's the same. Same two. Same two. The yeah. uh, oh, David Williams and um and the other guy. The other guy, yeah. yeah. Uh, the guy. No, the other guy's crazy. <laughs> cause we, should <laughs> we should remember his name. We should remember his name. Vicky Pollard. Yeah. That was the no, guy. No, Vicky Pollard. <laughs> is it? No, that's the current. That's oh, the guy. Oh, oh, oh. Really po- he was the yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Vicky yeah, Pollard is crazy. Yeah, that's mental. Two. He's yeah, an Arsenal fan, you know. Yeah, Big Arsenal, Arsenal fan. Yeah. yeah, I see him on the timeline. So I was like, bro, mm-hmm. where's that guy gone, bro? Bro, he's still, but he's still, he's still. Vicky no, like, Pollard like, and the David Williams guy, and they had different characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now they have the same in Come Fly with me, and it's even worse. Like that, that didn't last too long, innit? Nah, because it's funny. The ginger chick. Yeah, but now, but. Yeah, that's, that's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but I don't know. No, oh, that's, sorry, that's Vicky Pollard. Sorry, 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 what am I talking about? The um, Catherine Tate. Catherine oh, Tate. Catherine Tate. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the ginger chick. Yeah, she yeah. Like, what? You don't know. Mm. Catherine Tate. Catherine uh, Tate. Com- uh, computer says no. Yeah, was it her? No, no. Or is no, that? No, that's little Britain, bro. Little Britain, Britain, bro. Yeah. What does she say? She says, um, "You're not bugging." Yeah, what? I'm a bugger. I'm a bugger. Oh, yeah, I'm a bugger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a bugger. She was on. She was on Doctor Who as well, no? She was on a few episodes of Doctor Who, I think. Doctor yeah. You lot of BBC Three Ultras, bro. Yeah, she was on <laughs> Back then, yeah. You see TV, bro. It was elite, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Was like, man didn't need to go out sometimes. I'm a it's true. Just chill. I'm a yeah, no, it's Face true. Face bothered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Face bothered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Face bothered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Face bothered. Yeah, yeah, yeah
Nah, that's oh, she's the greatest, man. Nah, yeah, it's true. Nah, there's nothing, man. And even, like... Even Channel 4 as well, though. That's like, the thing, yeah. Shameless and that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, documentaries on Channel 4 as well. 60... What was it? 24 hours in police custody. Yeah, mm. that, was, yeah, that, that was crazy. That was unreal. Desperate Housewives. Desperate nah, Housewives. Desperate Housewives. Desperate Housewives. Desperate Housewives. Do you know what it was? I was in school and... It was during Ramadan, and this is when I used to like cheat it in it. Like I used to sleep bare late, mm. and it was like I think summer holidays, bro. This is how like long ago it was because mm. Ramadan was it, yeah. uh, like June, July time, yeah. and yeah, the day. only thing on TV at like five a.m. <laughs> was Desperate Housewives, and, and I watched station. the whole thing. No, no you come can't on, watch Babe Station, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Come on, man. Babe Station. Station. That, was on <laughs> <way> <laughs> that was on <laughs> way earlier. That was on way earlier. That started way earlier. All them shows were lit. Desperate Housewives. Yeah. There was one crime. What was that crime thing? Without a trace. Did you ever watch that? No. Nah. Nah. Without a trace in that. Basically, someone. I didn't like, watch this. It's like a crime. It's a crime scene show, isn't mm. it? Yeah. So basically, someone obviously a crime happened and then they have to investigate it and then they yeah, find yeah. out who it was. Flashback happens. Yeah. But oh, so not real life. It's like a. Mm. Oh, like the a one with yeah. the people on the show are trying to find out what happened. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. It was no, like a yeah, book no, no, so no, 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 that. in the house or something. Yeah, they go to the crime scene. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. It was like a book CSI story. I don't remember that story. Speaking of Ramadan, Crime Watch. Sorry, go on. <laughs> no, hey, what happened to Crime Watch? Yeah, they stopped it, innit? Yeah, they stopped that. Why? Crime Watch, bro. Crime Watch. It's clearly not working, is it? But oh, what do you mean? That got, that got that come got <laughs> <up> at the <laughs> end. <laughs> saw himself come at the end. No, he said he's running in O ten. Huh? <laughs> you on the ground? This is his guy. The mom shot this guy on there. <laughs> nah, I thought like Crime Watch was dead. Remember they got that? Um, they got the presenter Joe Dando killed. No, do you know what? I know he's dying because it's the it's the way he said it and yeah. it was that time. No. Didn't expect it. Walla, I was but just I was just thinking as well, yeah? Like wait, Walla, just before you said it, I said whoever's presenting that is <laughs> the, the biggest snitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's crazy. Who presented that? It's the biggest. Don't you remember Jill Dan? No, she got, she got, bro, she got done her doorstep like that. Is a lot big documentary about it, bro. No way. Jill Dan was like the biggest presenter no. in England, bro. I should got M'd off because of the crime watch. What? The I, apparently the IRS or something. Like, you know the Irish. Oh Irish yeah, mafia, yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently they laying her down, bro. She was getting bare people down, basically. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah, but it's not. She's not finding them. No, but they don't want. This is what she did. Yeah. She's, she's, she's reading the telephone. You know what she did? She's reading. <laughs> this is what she did. She started off basically doing a normal journalist thing, like yeah. being a reporter, etc. She got then too she big. worked her way up in it, so mm. she would become. She was a BBC like news um, reporter. Present, and then yeah. She worked her way. She got a job at Crime Watch, innit? But then she got too excited. Like she became the media darling. Everyone loved her. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jill Dad, no, you get yeah, me? Yeah. And then next thing you know, when she started doing the Crime Watch um, role. She tried to do the most, like we need to, like started doing other. Oh, like, she started motivating people. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's doing her own little research. Nah, 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 nah. She went off script. Nah, nah, nah. She's doing her own little research. Yeah, yeah, nah. She's doing too much. She people got too big. None of us, bro. Nah, excuse me. No, I'm not saying that, but like, there's certain things you can do in life too, like. That's what it is when you're becoming a problem like that. Yeah, yeah. Becoming that, like, you have that certain level of influence. Yeah, it's true. You can present it and just be like. By the way, man, them, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not coming from me. It's not me. It's yeah, not yeah, my yeah, script. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, they're telling me yeah, if you yeah. have any information, call, the, call <laughs> yeah. this line, innit? Yeah. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> so you can balance it. To this day, to this day, they still haven't found a killer because it was a professional hit. No way. Yeah. Um, Mad. Yeah, bro, there's even a yeah. documentary on, on on Netflix. But I've never heard of this, you know. Never have I. I don't know. Crime Watch. We need to bring it back, bro. I'll be real. Fraud Watch. There was so. I remember back in the days, yeah. Broski, the news. Like the family would just be watching it, like yo, like we mm. have to, we have to know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, no, no shoes, everyone. Bro, peak, the seen the man scared them. the shit out of me though. Yeah. I can't lie. Why? Because you know, the reenact, re- yeah. oh, reenactment yeah, yeah. part. You just see an old lady just get emmed off yeah. for no reason, bro. No reason. Nah, no, I'm home alone. You know when I was actually <laughs> shook. Yeah. Do you remember the July bombings in 06? Mm. The 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 bus the bus seven bombings. seven. Yeah, seven seven. Yeah, yeah, you remember yeah. that? Yeah. Oh my yeah, that was, god, that was I was on the ropes, you know. I remember there was like one morning. You remember the morning in Birmingham? There was a morning in Birmingham. Broski, there was a you. This one I was done. This one I was rattled. There was an Eritrean brother. Yeah, he got bland, but he was neighbours with my cousin that lived in Samuel. No. So then my cousin was like, yeah, I know him. I know the family. Hmm? So man was shook and like, you know those guys there? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I have like all the cousins. Yo, he's gonna come for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I was hey. shook. 
bro, that summer I'll never forget. I was on the ropes. That was a bad summer. The whole summer. Like, I swear. Yeah. Was that was that all six? Was all yeah, six or seven? Oh, I think it was all oh, seven. Oh, seven. Oh, seven. I don't know. Seven, seven. I think it's seventh of July. Or was it seventh? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, 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 seven. Oh, seven. oh, six. I remember. My brother was on the train. I remember heard July. About it in school though. Huh? Yeah, yeah I remember. Oh, yeah, I was in school. Yeah, we were in school. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I don't think I was here. Was I here? What in jukebox? No, no. No, do you know why? That July 06 is the same Lebanon. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The war. So I don't know if I was. No, nah, I think it was probably a year later. I remember my mum, yeah, my I brother was, was on the train, so my mum started moving mad. Bro, this time there, no one was good on TFL, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody was. <coughs> bro, yeah, people true. were looking at you different, bro. Yeah, yeah. If you was any sort of. If you was known as Muslim, Somali, or whatever, mm. Arab, bro, yeah. long for you, bro, yeah, all the time. Bro, imagine being an. Uh, Muslim American during 9 oh, 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how mad. crazy that was. Long day. As soon as I see that happen, I'm locking my door. I'll be real, bro. <laughs> 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 it's long, man. Even to this day, bro, if I'm if I'm rocking a Khamis and I'm on a train, bro, people mm. look at me different, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. normal, though, isn't it? No, I mean, it's not, but, but it's it is crazy, at the though, same time. It? It's, it's just it's the way it's. it's sad, man. I want to go to America because I want to get stopped. Can't. No, 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 because <laughs> I want to see. I'm going to wear nice clothes. I'm going to come very nice, well mannered, groomed, and that. And I guarantee you, I'm still going to get stopped. Not one Muslim has ever been to America and told me at the borders they never got stopped. Have you been mm. stopped? Nah. <laughs> stopped in Dubai. <laughs> you ruined my whole, <laughs> <laughs> ruined my whole theory. <laughs> I, can't I, got, I, can't I can't I got stopped in Dubai. Is it? Yeah. Dubai's a weird one. Was it Dubai or Abu Dhabi? Why? What stopped Honestly. as in like um, interrogated? Interrogated, bro. Put Allah. me into a room. What are you doing here? Uh-uh. Rare, rare, rare. I said, what do you mean, bro? I'm here to talk about my family, mm, bro. Okay. I've got some family to live in. <laughs> what <laughs> the fuck? They look at me like yeah. proper, like make me right. Was it your first yeah. time there? In before that, around <laughs> yeah, like six years. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm. I know first time they can be a bit more like tough on you. Bro, even Remember Lebanon was <laughs> interrogating us. Me. Yeah, yeah, you got held up. They interrogated in Lebanon? In my own country, bro. No. Yeah, he said, you're not Lebanese. What country are you not from? Lebanese. 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 Are you from Lebanon? Mm, yeah. yeah. Right. He said, you're not Lebanese. Yeah. How? How can you tell me Yeah, wallah. I was like, bro, I've got a tattoo. <laughs> 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 I've got, like, got the flag on my arm. He was like, bro, anyone could do that. I was like, yeah. You're like Christmas. Yeah. I was like, Fez. Imagine you go to Somalia, they say, yo, you did it. Yeah, it's mad, isn't it? We're speaking about Ramadan, anyways. Mm. Quickly, we'll touch on it because I don't think we've said it any uh, in any episode. We haven't spoken about it. Yeah. How's Ramadan been so far? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. it's been good. Yeah, it's been calm. Everything's been going well. I think this year has been the easiest ever. I can't lie. Well, yeah. I don't time, think there's yeah, been time. Has been time, time yeah. weather like. Obviously, I think this is like the first year as well, or one of the first years where like working from home as well. Yeah. In in, mm. do you get me? Like, it's a, it's a normal thing. Whereas before, it's like school every day, work yeah, every day. Yeah, yeah. In the summer, late nights, like it's long. This year, bro, I'm just waking up, it's chilling for a few hours, and it's, it's been done. easy, man. Yeah. I'll be real, it's man. been mad easy, isn't well, it? Remember halfway through as well. Yeah, it's going and back quick. We got um, the the last ten days is when the time goes. Yeah, that's when it messes well, up. Yeah, <laughs> messes up is crazy. Yeah, but um, in what way? So we'll start breaking up at seven thirty yeah. instead of like six thirty. Because the time I think, about I think an hour. Though for for um, Fajr it goes. An hour. Oh yeah, yeah it'll be true, no, it'll go true. back to yeah. So it'll be like five a.m. and then it'll start going back. Yeah. Um, down. No, I saw something like we're gonna do Fajr at like six. Or no, four. no, you've lost it. No, Fajr is no, no, it's not, it's not. Is it not? I've checked it on the on the. Bro, on you're the, checking Sweden uh, time, bro. Muslim pro. <laughs> no, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Muslim pro. <laughs> do you remember back in the day we used to play football up until? Bro, we used to yeah, up yeah, until we used to my, my mum was calling day us. Playing football, bro. Mm. The whole day. Bro, I wouldn't even know it's a start time. Like, my mum would be calling. Remember me. back in the day when you were doing badminton? Remember? <laughs> <laughs> You know, He's bro, trying to drink. Like, this nigga talk to me. <laughs> uh, He's never played badminton in his life. Let's play Connect Four, bro. Don't <laughs> 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 uh, badminton is crazy. Fair, 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 fair. Oh, me, nah, football, literally, bro. Out <laughs> all day, and then you just see one of our mums just calling yeah. us, and then everyone just runs. Yeah, everyone just goes home. Everyone, yeah, because sometimes obviously, like. Energy was I don't know, you didn't even want to eat. No, nah, well, like, yeah, 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 yeah. let's go yeah, wins. Yeah, yeah. Let's go wins. <laughs> yeah. See, when he was playing that, like, did you like have a lot of like Muslim man like playing that with you? Yeah, everyone. Yeah. Bro, yeah. basically, yeah, everyone. our whole thing. I've, I think I've said yeah. it before. It was Warrior FC <laughs> versus African Power. Yeah, we used to do that. That no, was no, that. That was the hot because everyone in the estate was either African or Somali. 
I was the only <laughs> guy, whoever team needed an extra player, I'd just be that guy. Yeah. We had like we had a lot of, of Somalis, we had a lot of Pakistanis, um we had a lot of Iraqis, Kuwaitis. Nah, we've never had, no, we, I, had, we, had, we, had we didn't have a lot of Arabs, innit? We nah. it was a mix of Ahmed, didn't it? But even Ahmed's African, because he's yeah, Egyptian. Yeah, 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 we even yeah, had yeah, Burwani yeah. people. That's made it, like, it was bad. Mm-hmm. You gotta explain what that is. Burwani innit, but but brother these people. Huh? Burwani innit? You know what Burwani are? I know, but what do you say there? Brothanese, they're Brothanese people now. What's Brothanese, bro? What's Bravanese? What's Bravanese? That's what they call. That's what you call them, people. No? What? Someone from Barrett Brothers is Bravanese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what's Barwani? Barwani, isn't it? When you're Barwani, you know them Kenyans slash Somali. Oh. Oh okay, yeah. You know, I've never heard of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, I've come across them. Like yeah, I've come across. I know them. he's talking yeah. about, but I don't know what Bravanese is. That's what you call them, bro. Oh. Nah, the Bravanese people. Are you Barwani or Bravanese? We say Barwani, but I think the English people call them oh, Bravanese. Oh, oh, oh. I've never heard, no, of heard of them. Well, we can go on Google. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> but I didn't. I didn't grow up with a lot of Pakistani people. Afghans, yes. Somalis, Afghans, yes. Afghans for me. I've <laughs> yeah, seen a lot of them. Yeah, in school. Yeah. Yeah, just, I think they just jumped. I think at that time they just jumped off the porch. Yeah, yeah, yeah straight yeah. into school, yeah. no English. Couple man I know, yeah. Couple man, yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the age, the age was yeah, all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy, Standard, yeah, yeah. The chicks, everything. Yeah, yeah. Starting to understand what these are. Do you get? Mm-hmm. By that time, they were very defensive, innit? Do you get? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, they wouldn't have it. Yeah, they'll, be, they'll be rolling back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I had, I had a few that had beards. Year ten, walla, 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 walla. But I think once you get to know them, probably a mad cool. Now they're cool. Yeah, no, no, no. I was gonna say there, there was one guy that he like everyone knew like not to mess with him, but he was still the bo- most blessed guy yeah, yeah, ever yeah. at the same time. People. But he was at least forty two. No, he was at least. Now some of them were fake Asian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hundred. They were all born January first, by the way. I know a lot of Marlies. Yeah, that's us. That's our team. That's our one. Us as well. Afghans as well. Us as well. No, 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 no. No, my dad's July 1st. He don't remember his birthday. He just remembers it was hot. Yeah, <laughs> swear yeah. down, bro. See, the they, first day it was hot. They don't, see, they don't know, see, bro. the Lebanon well, um, community, mm. I never really, like, met a lot of Lebanese, man. What what area are you like, from? I'm from Colina. Mm, where's Lebanese, would you say? Northwest slash West, innit? Mostly. Yeah, so north Northwest as in, like, Park Royal. So yeah, 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 yeah. Park Royal is Leb- Lebanon. But bro. then, like, oh, central yeah. towards, like, Maidaville. Yeah. Maidaville, there's, and, like, Westminster, Park, yeah, yeah, Paddington, yeah. that yeah. kind of area. Um, there's a lot of Lebanese people. Now we're cool yeah. still. Up yeah, yeah, yeah. Up we're all right. We're right. We're, right. we're laid back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, compared to other Arabs, I think we are more laid back. First time I ever heard from Lebanon was um, I remember I was in Dubai, 2008. <laughs> 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 Why did you find an accent? Accent change. Why did you change accent? First time I was from Lebanon. Yeah. First time I heard of Dubai. Be yourself, bro. Be yourself, man. What are you doing? Living in England. Wait, wait. So you were born here? No. Funny enough, I've got a funny story. <coughs> so, it's a lie, by the way. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie, but honestly, it's not. So, obviously, my whole family, I'm the youngest of my family, innit? Mm. So, we was all born in Abu Dhabi, right? Obviously, at that time, my dad was working there, innit? Do you get it? So, obviously, we was all born there. I'm the youngest on it, yeah? But, I left, well, we all left when I was two, innit? Do you get it? Okay. So, I was basically bred here, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fez. Yeah, so I come in, what, 96? Like, okay, so, yeah. so and you were here for time, and then you're telling me now that the first time you come across Lebanese is yeah, in Dubai. 2008. <laughs> yeah. What? No, that's yeah, crazy. 2008. That's crazy. Like, that's that's when I knew what Lebanon was as yeah. a country because I, I remember I was staying at one place. I was staying at my auntie's house. Yeah. And I remember I went out one time. Just went out that night. Once to get to, and you know them times you could roll on your own. Mm. Yeah, Shower the man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just hit the strip, bro. Yeah. And there'll be obviously some food mm. places. Yeah, yeah. And I remember there was one place I used to get a banging rap from. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, this is banging. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what is it though? And yeah, it's called a shawarma. Yeah. Yeah. Shawarma. Yeah, shawarma. They're like, I've never heard of a shawarma before. Yeah. No like, way. Oh, this is not nice shawarma. So and yeah, I said, what? Well, who makes this? Yeah. So went, Lebanon, Lebanon, Lebanese. I said, oh, Lebanon, a country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, they went, yeah, this is called a Leban- Lebanese, <laughs> Lebanese food. They let me know everything this is Lebanese food. So I went back, yeah. I went back to the yard, I was telling my cousin, I said, what? Yeah. I, had, I had a shawarma from Lebanon. Yeah. He's like, I went on the computer, I went on Lebanon, right, right. I was like, you know those times? So I've done his own research. He's so time. passionate. Bro, you know those times I'm going on the computer, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm learning everything. I said, yeah. I can see the flag, the white, red, yeah, 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 yeah. like, done a whole, like, done a whole essay. Okay, Arabs, then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, then, so then, I remember I just said, okay, the Arab countries I know, Lebanon now, Iraq, yeah. Kuwait, I remember Syria, yeah, yeah. Syria. Jordan, those yeah. are the, you get me? Yeah. UAE, Oman, <laughs> Saudi. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Shawarma. It's just a shawarma, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, what do you mean? At that time, you think I'm getting shawarma, all I need was two 
pieces of chicken and chips, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, like that combo. I was in London at the time. Fish and chips, two pieces of chicken and chips. Yeah, it's true. Still. You don't know about no shawarma. Oh, man, that's too far. I had no choice but to know what Somalia was from a very, very young age. Yeah, you grew up with a lot of them, innit? A lot of school, the estate. We're everywhere, you know that. There's more. Is there more Somalis outside of Somalia than in Somalia? Because that's that's how Lebanon is. Lebanon is more Lebanese outside of Lebanon no than there is in Lebanon. Yeah, I there's more say Lebanese that. inside Brazil than yeah. there is in Lebanon. Brazil? Yes. What are they doing there? <laughs> Brazil. Oh, how crazy that that's is. magic. That's a crazy. They, they migrated there in like I don't know the sixties or something. So shit, what is there a Lebanese player that played for Brazil? No, bro, you the, never know. I think shit. Kaka has a bit of. <laughs> you no. might be from there. But you know, but you know, Edge Road. I've done my research. I think there's a Edge Road equivalent in Sao Paulo. No, there is. No There's way. a massive yeah, yeah, They've yeah. got a country Sachel, club and everything. Shisha, everything. everything yeah. yeah, they've got That's their own country magic. club there. Sao Paulo is mad. Yeah. You find a lot of Brazilians that have Lebanese names, but I don't yeah. know footballers. The richest footballers man in dead. the world at one point, um, this was like a few years ago, he was oh, Brazilian, yeah. but he was like Lebanese. Um, yeah. That's mad. Ancestry. Or There's no link though. No, it's just they went there for work years ago. Okay, yeah. yeah. yeah but I don't know where that came from. That's mad. Probably just where's nice women? Yeah, and they yeah. said, yeah, hey, one guy said, hey, this is this Brazil, place in South Brazil. America, it's popping. Roberto Carlos said just went there. Yeah, literally. Quickly. Lebanese, Brazilian. Chill, man. Sorry. It's Ramadan, bro. Ramadan, Ramadan. Ramadan. <laughs> Wait, I just said two countries. Hey, we, got, we, got, we, we got the card <laughs> system as well. Just, two, you, you know. just in case you guys don't know, yeah? yeah. Lives, you come across the card system yet? Yeah. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely <laughs> getting sent off. I'm moving out to Leo. I'm on yellow. Come on, who gets by? I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> any any crazy takes, whatever it is. Two yellows do not equal a red, though. And if you get a red, you're not banned from the podcast. <laughs> you just get a red card, don't it? Yeah. So that's there for now. But anyways, I, 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 and your decision is how, yeah. You it depends. Sometimes, like if I've said something crazy, no, if, if yeah, I'll throw it to you, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I have to give you that. Yeah. It might assist. No, you. no, no. Yeah. Actually, Depen- yeah. If you yeah, bro, yeah, just maybe. say it out. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but yeah, chill. Yeah. Why, you, why are you giving him the eyes now? Chill. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm ready. Speaking of like growing up and all that kind of stuff, estate, growing up, whatever. We used to play a game called One Touch, One Bounce. Heritage. Unreal. Let's talk Unreal about game. it. Let's Heritage. talk about Heritage. it. One t- By the way, there's better footballers than me, but I don't think there's any better One Touch, One Bounce players than me. No, that's a lie. But I've beaten you on one touch, uh, at One Touch, One Bounce. I don't think you ever, ever got a W over me. Have we played? Yes. Barbecues, I've been there. But anyways, <laughs> is he making it up? Uh, no, 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 no walla, 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 barbecues. barbecues. Bro, yeah. I'm cold. I want to touch on bounce. But anyways, of course I know this, bro. Come on, bro. Barbecue is crazy. But, uh, see, jeans. See, like Santi Je- trying not to hit the. the, the <laughs> yeah, that's the weird. Though. <laughs> Imagine you just hit the. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's got to be done, bro. He's he's better at football than me. Mm. But one touch on bounce, I'm there. I'm I'm in the elite category. But anyways, if the ball would land between two people, and no one knows whose call it is, who's out, whatever. They battle it out. Yeah, mm. rally. Yeah, yeah. You get me? They just call it battle it out. So we thought, let's bring that to the podcast. Battle mm-hmm. it out. That format. Hmm. Two people. Okay. We, we say a statement. Mm. Okay. You're representing your clubs. You're representing your teams. Obviously, Santi. So we've got two Arsenal fans. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, are you not going to do this? <laughs> 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 no, me, me, me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, two Arsenal fans. Yeah, two Arsenal fans, isn't it? Yeah. Two on one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now nah, he's gonna he's gonna have to host a little bit, so he's not gonna say too much. Okay. But anyways, we're gonna stay we're gonna say statements, multiple different statements, one by one. Obviously, we've got a city representative, we've got an also representative. The game is coming up in a week's time, but when probably this is being released, it's gonna be played in, in about a day or two. So we said for the build up, let's give you some statements, and then you lot debate, you lot battle it out, and then at the end of each statement, we'll basically say like who convinced us a little bit more. It could be a draw, and then we move on to the next one. Ah, uh, sweet. How's that sound? Sounds good, mate. Are you oh, ready great. to represent your team? You ready? Vamos. Let's you ready? do it. Before we do yeah. it, before we do it, we need to give a shout out to Ripple. Thank you, Ripple, for sponsoring the episode, as usual. Jad. Not sure. Are you sure you don't, you don't want to do it this yeah. time? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> next time, next time. Okay, I'm next time. It. But I'm, I'm just saying, innit? Next time. Now Jad they've seen it. it on camera that next time I'm going to do it. He's going to do the. He's going to do it. You know because we've got videos loaded up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Next recording. They won't know that. Yeah. Fuck them. Anyway, <laughs> shout out Ripple. <laughs> if you lot don't know, Ripple's the best alternative, or the better alternative to all your smoking, shisha vape addictions all that kind of disgusting stuff that you don't have again we're in the beginning of 2024 what is it march mm-hmm. so you've still got what like nine months mm-hmm. to better yourself don't be wet get yourself a ripple it's no tobacco no nicotine natural flavors uh tested in the uk all that kind of stuff and you can save 15 percent by using the code barrel brothers at checkout like we always say either do it for yourself try better yourself or try better someone else's life friends family whatever it is just look after yourself a little bit more please and by supporting ripple you support us so we That's can true. release weekly so again, go to Ripple before I go mad. Link is in the description. 15% off Barra Brothers. Um, and if you don't smoke, if you don't do vapes or whatever, then they have in, uh, an incense range as well. So you can just make your room smell nice. 
Um, so yeah, all good. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get into the episode. Oh yeah, uh, don't forget to wait. What are we on now? Seven point six point eight. Something like that. Yeah, At the moment, subscribers. Yeah, and I've already told you. It's too by the way, madam, if you don't know, mm. if we don't get to ten k by July, Judge Hosen on the ones. I'm <laughs> dropping out Bar Brothers. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm serious. We have to, we have yeah. to get it. We're dropping the S from Barbara. Brothers. No, we have to get it. No, we have to. No, no, no. no. Just, just, <laughs> to make it easier no, no, for we you. Have we to. have to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no one's written Jad, I can't lie. Anyways, uh, make sure to subscribe because a lot of you guys watch but you're not subscribed. I don't know why. But anyways, let's get started. Have you got the statements? Mm-hmm. Do you want to start with yeah. the, with the one, first one? Yeah, show me, show me, show me. I think the first or the last is a good one to start with. Start with the first one, but like say a proper sentence, isn't it? So Alright, statement number one. Okay. Are you ready? Manchester City is a bigger club than Arsenal. False. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Can I just say something? Just before you lot start. He said say a proper sentence, yeah? Yeah. All he added was the word Manchester. Because mine says City is City bigger than bigger Arsenal. Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but bro, for the TikTok, you need to make it a good clip in but there. Yeah. Bigger club. Bigger club. City is a bigger club than Arsenal. Let's say after last season, now a lot of people were bringing up this statement as well. So if you're looking at just if I if I was to tell you rank, I don't know the biggest clubs in the world, top ten or whatever, is City ranking above Arsenal? Not in recent history, just in in life Everything. in in the world right now. Would you say City is a bigger club? They've got more reach, maybe they're more successful. But not only that, obviously, it's bigger doesn't always just mean more successful in trophies and that. Again, fans, uh, name, fans? history, all that kind of stuff. You don't want to go there. <laughs> so you have to take everything into consideration. They know this though, deep down. They know they're not. They might have been more successful than us in recent years. I'll give them that. Mm. But as a club, they're nowhere near as big as us. Simple as that. Mm. A lot of what City do, come on. There's a reason why they're going up. There's a reason why they're having these charges against them. Because mm-hmm. a lot of their books. It's a bit whoa, 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 You know what I'm saying? There's a, lot of, there's a lot of book stuff that they put Alleg- out. Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh, mate, we'll see. Listen, well, the revenue that they put out, do you get me, with their fans, come on. You see Pep so many times crying, I need more from you. Yeah, that's I need mad. more from you from the fans. What was the Emirates called before two years ago? <laughs> Because we wasn't successful. It was a library. The fans are always there, though. <laughs> it was a library. Arsenal was just a sleeping giant. That's all we was. When you're not, when the club is not performing like it's meant to be, of course, a lot of fans are going to be disconnected. Do you get? That's normal. Mm. But when, like Arteta's come in and he's put the, do you get me? He's put the cables in together. Look, look what he's generated. He's generated a beast. Now look at us, North London. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. It's actually sad. With City, obviously. I get it. They've got an ambitious owner, you know, that puts his billions and billions into the club. Look, he's done a great job. Don't get me wrong. You get me coming from t- coming in that from two thousand eight. Done a great job in it. He's won everything. Mm. But obviously, when you're ambitious as he is, just like Roman was at Chelsea, you're bound to win everything. You know, like that. Mm. But I still think it doesn't change the fact that City have got to do a lot, lot, lot more to become no. as big as Arsenal. Okay, no, but okay, no. Yeah, so what, okay. what What makes you say that though? In terms so of... So if it's not the trophies, what? what is, what's Arsenal's excuse? I'm just, obviously, we're, me and Jad are just here to play devil's advocate, or more so me, because he's a bit biased. What makes you say that City, or oh, Arsenal, or oh, yeah, City that can't come close to Arsenal right now? Because if you look at recent history, they have won a lot more. But again, what, what are you holding on to? Is it the Invincibles? Is it just, you've done it for longer? What is it? Trophies, all together. You know, we're ahead of these lot, comfortably. Um, Comfortably, based yeah. on what? Based on nothing. League title. Ba- Bro, no, you've ba- got you've got fourteen FA Cups. And we've got that's the m- that's titles. the most trophies that you've and won. We've got thirteen league titles. Okay, cool. If City win the league, if City <laughs> if City win the league this season, if we win the league this season, yeah, double right. digit titles. Well done. You're ten still, still ten titles on the on on the board yeah. right there. Yeah. Cool. Champions League. Do you have that? You've just won it. Back out your Champions League right now. You got that there. Yeah, Back just it out. Won it last season. Back out your Champions League. About time, mate. <laughs> <laughs> About time. I mean, bro. look, I, look. If we're being honest, I, I did expect to. You lot are the only club it, like what around bro, 2018, bro, bro, right? Mm. In it with the mm. amount, with the quality of players that they've had mm. in their squad in the last what 10 to 15 years. Come on, we. So why are your invincibles win it? Kind of why are your invincibles win it? Why that time? Obviously, you know things. There's always an excuse. Every time things were different. We never had a massive squad. Arsenal never had the 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 the. The, the billions, you know, to, to pump into the squad. You get mm. Arsene Wenger had a, had a humble quality squad, you know what I'm mm. saying? You get Arsene so, Wenger with the resources that he had, mm. yeah, at that time was in Highbury, he's done an t- extreme, extremely terrific job. Yeah, he you did. Get? Simple as that. Come on, with City, they were expected to win the Champions League a long time ago. Yeah. Come on, let's be real. You get? No. Obviously, you ended up doing it. There's a reason why you had Pep Guardiola. Do you get me? How long mm. did it take Pep to win it? 
Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Pep had to change his whole way. How long his did whole it, how, style. Pep had to change how, his how, whole how, style. How long, did, the how long did it take Fergie to win it? Fergie, it took him it took him quite a while, to be fair. So don't talk about uh, how long did it take Pep to okay, win it. But he the still won it, bro. But the difference is and that was Fergie's first Champions League. Bro. To get. Pep Guardiola come into Manchester City winning the Champions League twice. Not mm. once, but twice. With one get. club. With one club. He's still done it. He's still done it with Fergie. Did, did he win a treble? Who? Pep Guardiola. Did he win a treble? Yeah, he won a treble. Okay, at what club? At Barcelona. And? Yeah, now he's done at City. Okay, cool. That's what I'm saying. But it took him, how long did it take him? Everything based, what you're talking about right now, is just based on fans. You might have a bigger global outreach. Fans is a based, big part of that. B- based on previous years. But right now, if we talk about the younger generation, bro. Yes. The younger generation, most of them are turning to City, bro. That's young. Whether but you that like it change, or not. Though, but that's temporary, Whether, right? Mm. Bro, because if we become successful no, but in the next 10 years, but, then... Every, that new bunch of um, crop but we're not of talking young, about of young kids will we're become Arsenal fans. That's mm-hmm. all temporary. That we're not talking about like next that. 10 years, though. Well, the question is right now. Let's talk the question is right now. And how many legends do you not have as well? What, what do you mean, how many legends? Like, do you if have? we talk history as well, that's another thing. History is mm. a big part of it. Your legends are all modern. Just get that all that's, talked about. What does that mean? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> 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 what does that mean? But no, but that's what does that mean? No, but that just shows. You get me? In terms of the stature. Okay, okay. If you look at the big clubs in this country Arsenal, Manchester United, Liverpool, yeah? They've got modern legends and they've got legends from the past. You know what I'm saying? Mm. There's a reason. People still talk about people like um, Kenny Daglish, Ian mm-hmm. Rush. Do you get? You've got um, legends like Eric Cantona. You know what I'm saying? Scrolls. Mm. Beckham. We've got Beckham. Bear, bro. You know, we like got, that. Like bear. Arsenal have what? Ian Wright, mm-hmm. Burkham, Henri. You've got um, Tony Adams. Do you get? Yeah. Okay, okay, legends, okay, right? okay cool. With uh, Manchester uh, City, right, right, yeah, right. when did their legends start? Okay, no, Richard Dunn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, but what about this now? Your legends stop at Thierry Henry and that. That's where your legends stop. Mm. You've had 20 okay, years of okay. being a banter club, bro. Okay, but that's when you're, you're, no, no, that's when you're started, though. Right, let, me, you started. Uh, let, me, let me land, let me land. You've had 20 years of being a banter club. Yes or no? But obviously, because of Chelsea, changes. Chelsea, yes, Chelsea changes. have come in and they've become one of the big clubs in the country while you've been doing bullshit yes because like yes I said no. with an owner of Roman Abramovich okay. when you're pumping so much that's, money to the club of course that's good for them success is going to come you're going to get you've fans. been left behind that's normal, you've been right? left behind right? we haven't really been left you've behind, been left we behind. Haven't, though, because you have been left we're behind. still the most successful club in London you haven't, won, you haven't won the Premier League in 20 it years it doesn't matter we've still got the most league titles how many, in the okay, city ok cool let me ask you a question yeah. How many? Yeah, it doesn't matter how many if trophies? they've overtaken us then I'll hear it if you overtake Arsenal and you win more trophies than us I can't say nothing we've got a lot of work to do but yes, we've been away from the top for bro. 20 years. Still. Bro, you won, like, you won five titles right? in the 1930s, bro. It doesn't matter. Like, yeah, like, this is like, what I'm saying. Let's not talk about Only Arsenal. clubs, have you not realised, only clubs with no history say that. No, but have listen. Have you not realised <laughs> I never, ever heard Inter Milan, that, he's babbling on right now. Milan, <laughs> Real Madrid, <laughs> Bayern saying Munich, a whole load of nothing. Barcelona. You're saying all a whole load of nothing. big clubs, <laughs> I've never in my life ever said, oh, I've never, ever heard their fans say, but you won them leagues in them years. No, oh, no, no. Because no. they historic clubs. Okay, cool. No, but every other, right. club, you every other club you just mentioned right now have had a sustained period of success in the last 30 years. But they're still... You don't have not. Mm. Okay, your, okay. Your, 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 your only period Arsenal were the team in this country and they're winning back-to-back leagues and that was in the 1930s. So if other you than that, you don't, okay, we're not doing okay, that. Okay. When's the last time you won back-to-back okay, titles? Hold on, hold on. When's before, the last time you won back-to-back before, titles? Before bro? Barcelona, you know before Barcelona won the um, Champions League in 2006? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Against us? Yeah, yeah. yeah. When was the last time they won the Champions League before that? Uh, right. Was it Rijkaard? It was Pep Guardiola won it, bro. Yeah, uh, who was in that team? 97. You had all um, Stoikov. That was Cruyff's that, team. Mm. That was Cruyff's team. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah Stoikov. Chris, yeah. You had all, um, what's his name? Um, Coleman and that. Yeah, 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 yeah. All that team. Okay, that what's was that, your what, point? in the early 90s, right? Mm. For a club of Barcelona's um, stature, yeah? You think that's still acceptable? Mm. Do you get? They're probably thinking, "Yo, we should be winning the Champions League." Oh, what what, is, what year, is that point right? got to do with Arsenal? Is, am I not right? What's yeah. that so with Arsenal? That still hasn't taken away the fact that Barca are still a big club. Yeah, in it, mm. regardless. But they've won it. You okay, have not. Okay, but it doesn't. <laughs> what is that to They've won the. They've won the Champions okay, League. Okay, you haven't. Using that as an example, that yo, regardless, just because we haven't won a Champions League does not mean we're not a big club, bro. Do you get? Because Nottingham Forest have won a Champions League. Okay. Twice. So are not in the front of the big clubs in Arsenal? Yeah, okay. No. I hear it. Aston Villa have won it. Are they big clubs in Arsenal? Yeah. No. So what's what what's it gonna take? <coughs> if you don't think City are a bigger club right now, obviously how many how many leagues have you got? Nine. Nine. Nine, Nine leagues, probably it's gonna be ten soon. If if not this year, then probably the, the year after. You got a Champions League. Yep. In contention to win it this year. What's it gonna take? How many do you have a Champions League? Uh, not a Champions League, a European Cup. No. Yeah, we have we, we do what, which one? European which one? Cup winners cup. Cup winners cup pipe. Oh, so but but it's not that's like the European a, trophy. Is it like the Champions League equivalent? No, no, no but no, it no. was at that time. Mm. It was at like the second tier. Oh, okay. Get, until 
they could, they made it together mm. and then it became the he's UEFA lying Cup. again mm. go check he's <laughs> lying <laughs> so is it like Europa League you, you know what Cup Winners Cup is you know so what that, it's a Europa League do you know what that is yeah it's yeah. like when you win but the FA Cup, yeah. Copa del Rey, all them teams come okay. together in the cup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So, 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 yeah. so you know, back then, yeah. Oh, you, right. do, oh, you know, if you do your history, mm. yeah. If you do your actual history back then, yeah. You know, after the Champions League, that was the most prestigious um, European Cup. Mm. You know, like the Cup Winners' Cup. Do you mm. get? And then afterwards, because remember, there was three. UEFA Cup was after that. Mm. But because they didn't want it to be three European trophies, they thought, you know what, let's just merge the UEFA Cup and the Cup Winners' Cup. And that's when it became the UEFA Cup. Yeah, get, mm, they okay. merged it together, which was I think after Ma- I think the last team to win it, I think I think the competition Cup Winners Cup got abolished around ninety seven. Mm. I think if you can check ninety seven, and also that's when it became UEFA Cup. It was Champions League and UEFA Cup and nothing else to get. Mm. But when we won it, it was still in contention because why? Okay, so if it wasn't prestigious, bro, remember the su- you know the Super Cup, the winner of the UEFA Cup and yeah, the Champions yeah, and League, they play each other. That's the Super Cup, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So who won the Champions League ninety three ninety four season? God knows, Dortmund. AC Milan, right? Mm. Believe, yeah? Mm. And you played them? We played AC Milan mm. in, a, in, a, in, mm. a, in a Super Cup. I actually don't know who won that game. We, Dave did. It was a two-legged thing and, and they won. Did you get? So you won either way? Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, you won. AC Milan won. Did you get? AC Milan won, right? Yeah. So if it wasn't prestigious, why are we facing the yeah. Champions League winners? Okay. Mm. So you've got that. Yeah, we've got that. Ch- okay, it's not a ch- but what's Look, it going to take? I'm not saying it's the greatest. Yeah, okay, cool. But we've got a It's a baby boy Champions cup, bro. Yeah. Let's be honest. It's a baby boy cup. So it's not it's a baby boy cup. cup. It's, a it's, a boy baby bo- it's a baby boy cup to Champions League, yes. Okay, so they've got a Champions League. You don't have a Champions League. What's it going to take? Because I can't lie. I was I was against like this whole City thing of like them coming in new and winning a few titles and blah, blah, blah. And oh, yeah, but they're never really going to. But now I can't lie. I'm seeing a shift. I'm seeing the younger generation a lot of them are supporting City yeah, of I'm course. seeing their brand grow I'm seeing them now winning Champions League bro if they win one more Champions League they're only one off Man United and Man United has been how dominant for will how not many bigger than Man of course United. of course I don't think they will Man United is different to you bro of course it's, they're, they're different to you they're yeah, different yeah, to course. you but at the same time like you can't knock the fact that they've been six, like constantly successful for 14 years probably now about 14 years on a trot yeah. when do we start taking them seriously and actually start saying that they're bigger than you if they're not currently bigger than you right now when they win more trophies than us so how many th- but that's the thing like they, how many if they, how many, if they win more is there a number on it or is it like a feeling if they get yeah it comes everything comes into fact obviously them winning more trophies than us getting more league titles than us mm. FA Cup Champions League just having more trophies than us yeah Um. also that growth do you get me with their fan base you know what I'm saying record that statistics every year you know they're up there ahead of us. Mm. All of that will come into fact. That's when I'm like, right. okay, you know what? The, and and the reach as well. You know what I'm saying? You can just feel when a club. Yeah. Is I wouldn't uh, personally that Those statement. I wouldn't say oh, that City is a bigger club than Arsenal, but we're a bigger team than you, right now. We're so, a bigger team so than you. We've been mean, a big, bigger, bigger team, team, team than you for the last ten years. Bigger team, as in a better team. Better, bigger team, bro. All the what best players in the world would rather come to Man City than your team, bro. So, but what is that? What's that based on? We're competing a year and year out. Team, right? Yeah. That's fine. That's <laughs> not what we're arguing here. No, exactly. You can be in a bigger team. Yes. But again, that's all temporary, right? Mm-hmm. Because in a year or two, we become easy to become better than you as a no, team. Nah. We can, though. Nah, would you, nah. would you say, I want to ask, would you not, say, would you say the Champions League holds a lot of weight it does. in people's perception of it does. who's a bigger club? It does. Don't get me wrong. It does. Mm. But you can use it as a factor to help your argument, right? Mm. Yeah. But you can't just base the Champions League on who's a bigger club mm. because then Forest have got what are Forest bigger than Chelsea yeah, yeah. not 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 Forest but oh, I was going to use Chelsea because you said Arsenal's Chelsea, the biggest club Chelsea in London Chelsea little yeah. lot, bro they say they're the biggest club in London but yeah. that's only Chelsea fans say that no a lot of people agree with them sometimes they say yo Chelsea won two Champions Leagues but that's bizarre, and they got okay. two Europa Leagues okay. as well okay. okay so if not enough Forest have got two Champions Leagues yeah are they bigger than Manchester City what do you mean? Are they big clubs and they've got two No, but they ain't got they ain't got more titles though. That's what I'm saying. You can't see what I'm saying. See mm. how they the, the goal no, 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 keeps switching. No, but no no but you like can't. there's there's the, you say there's so many factors in it as well. Yeah. Forget not enough for us. Stop using that. Yeah, as yeah, no, keep going back no, to no, the no, no, I, I, I know, I know, but not not in this example, because Chelsea like they're still the big names they want to sign for Chelsea yeah. and they've won league titles and recently. That recent success, and that's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and success, all of that. Exactly. That's their push. And, and that's there's their the whole pool. thing. The yeah. recent success. There's the whole thing with like, of you lot got the treble, but then like Arsenal got invincibles, but then Chelsea got the season straight after that as well. So there's like, Chelsea are always there in the but mix. Che- but yeah, go on, we're going on. No, that's it, that's it. No, because I was going to say, Chelsea have what, like five years on you? Five, yeah. six years on you maybe? Yeah. Between 
the time they got taken over and you got taken over, maybe five years or something. Like, oh, wait, they oh, wait. Be, they can, they, oh, wait. They're yeah. closer to becoming a bigger club than Chelsea than they are to us. Well, that's what I'm saying. I, the way I see Chelsea they now... They can even say yeah, that now. They can I have see that Chelsea as a huge now. team. I see Chelsea as a huge already. team. We've no, overlapped but, Chelsea. No, but I'll they be can honest. have that conversation now because mm. in trophies, I think they've matched them or they've got more trophies. I don't know. Uh, so, so, you know this trophies argument? I've got one thing about that, yeah, because... In my opinion, all right, you tell me actually Not before, before I say No, no, no of course, it's a factor. It's yeah. a factor. But yeah. then this is my thing as well, yeah? Who's a bigger club? Non bias. Man United or Liverpool? Man United. Man United. But Man United. we've got less Champions Leagues than them, and they're one Premier League behind us. So, how many Champions mm. Leagues have they got? Five? Trophies. How, six? Got more? Five? Five? Six. Trophies. They got six. They've got six Champions that, League. Yeah. Five yeah, or six? Six. 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 six Champions Leagues, yeah. 19 Premier Leagues. Mm. We've got 20 Champions Leagues, 20 Premier Leagues. And, uh, three Champions League. So, God knows. But we're second most. Uh, that just goes to show you. Now you're done. Who's got more trophies overall? I th- uh, don't quote me, but I think Man United have more trophies overall. But then again, like in my opinion, Champions League just weighs a little bit more in it. No, but so. if you got trophies, more trophies overall. All right, but let's say Champions but, okay, League, regardless, yeah? Yeah, but if let's say it's them. you've got more trophies overall. But right? let's say it's them. Let's say it's them. But let's pretend it's them. Depends by how much. Even if it's a few. If they've got more trophies, I still think Man United are a bigger club. You would agree. Because you know what I bring into it? Mm. Man United's fan base. Check it. Mm. How big yeah, Man United are. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Worldwide. All you're you talking about like is fans, bro. But that's a big part that's of all becoming you're a bigger about, club. Mm. No, but that's a big part. You can't downplay that. But having that reach worldwide, bro, is so important. No, but your fans, most part. of your fans, most of your fans come from an era which was 20 years ago, bro. It's guys that are like your age or older now, bro. The, 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 young the, 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 Arsenal, bro. the young G's that support Arsenal, bro, most of them, they've been... It's either their older brother or someone else supports it, bro. Mm. Do you get it? That's Not just that. Not that's all the time. There's some kids that love soccer. Mm. Bro. There's what? some kids that love Alexis Sanchez. Bro. It's all about, as a kid, a who you're watching. What's your and who yeah. moves you. Yeah. Like, like, for example, our age group, yeah? They're all probably maybe a bit older, yeah? There was man that probably started supporting Chelsea because of Zola. Yeah. Mm. Do you get it? Even mm. though you had stars like at that time, like, like Burkham, oh, really? you oh. had... Um, Henri, maybe just after that, yeah, but yeah. like at that time, Andy Cole, Dwight York, mm-hmm. Robbie Fowler, Michael Owen, mm. there were still guys that became Chelsea fans, even though Chelsea weren't as successful mm. or, or competing as Man United, Arsenal, mm. or maybe Liverpool at that time. Mm. Yeah, still guys that started supporting Chelsea because of Zola. Mm. Sometimes mm. it's always about players as well that move you, yeah, that make course. you become, you get drawn. Or sometimes you 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 see something uh, that you link to, like if it's a player, like let's say it's a kid's Italian. And he's seen Zola, mm. and he's the only player that's exactly. Italian at the time that's that's Another banging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you get? There's always like different type of ways of how you can attach yourself to a team. Mm. Whether that could be who's the best team at the time, whether it could be who your family supports, the influence, whether it could okay, be cool. who like moves you. Like for example, look at me for example. Yeah, my older brother's a Man United fan. Yeah, so as a kid growing up, I was watching him watch Man United when they were successful which you get it could have been easy enough for me to support Man United because at that time Man United looked like they were winning everything right mm. but I saw Henri I saw Vieira I saw Perez I saw these guys and automatically I felt moved mm. do you get I felt I felt that attachment do you get mm-hmm. so no but the it, way you're talking is like Arsenal has been lit for the last 10 years bro you, you just turned up last season really. you just turned up last season bro in the last 10 years when have I said no Arsenal because the way the way you're talking about new fans want to be Arsenal bro in the last 10 years whether you like it or not bro Chelsea Man City United and probably Liverpool have amassed more from more new fans than you have yeah, that's not hard. That's that's a fact. That's, yeah, that's, that's a not fact. Hard. Yeah, but that's I'm you, not the, you I'm have not, been I'm a not, banter yeah, it, banter not, club, bro. Okay, but I'm not like. So my point still that, stands. My point still stands. I'm, then, but that's all temporary. You get mm. that can happen, but that's all temporary. You know, like that. I would say they're the fastest growing fan base in the world. Bro, who's the most watched last season in the whole? Who's the most watched last season last year? Find the best players. You know what I'm saying? The way they're playing. In a few years, and that you're like you're stuck in Indonesia. All these countries going to go. They said in America, the most watched team last year was City. Bro, in America, bro, that's not a joke. Yeah, that's very good. But obviously, it's gonna make sense when you're you've got stars in your team. You get plus world class players. The fact team. that you own different clubs as well in different countries. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, That's another mad. thing. That's what I'm saying. It mm. comes down to the who ownership you, as well. Who do you think is the biggest club in Italy? Like, what's it's the It's got to be AC Milan. I'll probably say AC Milan. Yeah, it's got to be. What were you? But then I'd again, say Juventus. I can't lie. In, Iti- in Italy, though. Yeah, why? Like, I feel like they've got them. Haven't they got the most titles? Mm. 
So in Italy, but I feel much, like they're the, they're the most prestigious club in Italy. But a bit still. It's, 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 it's their market. Like, I don't know. It's their market. They're, they're, like, they're, they're like the United of, of yeah, Italy, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah. In it's Italy. Most, wait, who has the most league titles in Italy? And AC Milan, like, like Juve, Liverpool. Juve. Milan and Inter are on the same, but Inter are going to win it this so season. How many have you we got? Like 30 something. And Milan's, we're, we're on 19. Yeah, bro. Wow. 19, yeah. They're like, Juve won a Champions League, right? Juve's won a Champions League, yeah. How many times? Just once. I'm pretty sure. But we wanted this the second most. Yeah, that's tight, man. Yeah. That is tight. Seven do you know what is only reason why I'm? Do you know what is? But the first thing that comes to your head is Milan. A, yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah, know why? Do you know why? Though? About twenty trophies ahead. But should yeah, I tell yeah, you why I'm right. saying that though? Yeah. Like I might not be right. To get, I might not be right. But the reason why Milan comes to my head is because when it comes to stars, it's the players like, as well. The players, yeah. the stadium, like, just everything get, like, as a whole. Everything, the aura, mm -mm. it was always a Milan thing growing up. Do you mm. get, you know, like that, Kaká, Shevchenko, mm. um, bro, Enzog, yeah, Maldini, Sadov, Nesta, everyone, Maldini, bro, yeah. Maldini, Nesta, do you get, yeah. Perlo, like it was different, do you know what I'm saying? Abiati. Abiati, Come on, man. Kaká, all the man them, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <He still laughs> Dido, 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 nah. Dido. Nah, but with that mm. statement, I'm not deluded, I won't say Arsenal is not a bigger club than City, because they mm. are, but, I don't care about that. And um, at the end of the day, we're a bigger team than you right now, and have been for the last ten okay, years. But that's if not and, and, okay, no, but if it continues, no, but if it continues, no, no, no. But he's allowed. No, but he's allowed I'm saying, to I'm saying, I don't care. But, 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 but it's not like you're saying. No, but no, no, no. But he's yeah, no, but I'm saying. You agree with me then? Yeah, I said I agree. But 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 I said I don't care about that. That's fine. It's it's irrelevant, bro. Okay, how about all you're telling me is you got more fans. That's all you're saying. Okay, we've come to an agreement, yeah, that. Arsenal are a big club in City, right? Yeah. And you just told me you don't care about that. Who's a bigger team oh, right hold now? Hold on, hold on. Who's a bigger team? Hold on, hold on, hold on. But you just told me you don't care about that, right? Yeah? Okay. Cool. That's it. As long as you said Trouble. you don't care, that's not... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we don't care no, about that right okay, cool. now, bro. And then, and then, if not, we can fall back on that. Yeah, go All right, on. cool. He's just we've just come to an agreement, yeah? Mm -hmm. As an Arsenal and Man City fan, yeah? That Arsenal are a big club in, um, in City. Yeah, right yeah. now, yeah. right now. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You said you don't care about that, right? Right now, I do not care about yeah, that. You don't care that as long as my team are winning cool, trophies, cool, cool, that does not concern cool, me, bro. Cool. So I don't care that you don't care. That rounds it up nicely. I think we'll move on to the next one. This next one's good. This next one's good. You know why this guy kills me? You know he's been loving that one, you know? We're a bigger team. I've never heard of that. What does that mean? a bigger team. Bro, right right now, if you say that, oh, you're a better team than us. No, I'm saying right now, if you go top five teams in Europe. Mm. Arsenal's yeah, yeah, not finished on top of Man City. Of course not, because yeah. 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 Man City just won a treble, bro. Mm. We haven't exactly, that. we're top yeah. one. Yeah, but Best that's been team a better team, that's what I'm saying. If we're to win a treble this next season... You won't. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't say if, you won't. Only a lot of them, isn't it? Listen to this. If we was to win a treble next season, right, mm. then then we can have that conversation. Who's the better team, Arsenal City, right? Uh, better team, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Who's the better? That's what I'm trying to say. So that's yeah. all temporary. Things can change. It's highly unlikely. You're bro. going off temporary status. Yeah, the, uh, club cl uh, club stature, I think, is temporary as well, but it just takes longer. Yeah. So th they yeah. might be a bigger club than you in maybe 10, 15, 20 years. It takes a long but time, bro, bro. it flies by. I like thought that. we were going to like, it would never be 10 years or whatever until we sat, we got our next title. But look, like, imagine, yeah, imagine in 2013 when Fergie left. Like United fans might have thought it might have been a bit difficult at the start, but I thought maybe well, it's not going to take us more than three years. years. You know what the crazy thing is? Yeah, you know when Arsenal, the last time Arsenal won a league title, yeah, you know Man United were like one or two titles um, ahead of us. Mm. When Arsenal last won the league a league title, title yeah, we were oh we were a few league titles yeah, ahead of you. Like one or two titles oh. ahead of us. In the nineties and in the nineties during the nineties we had more league titles than you. Yeah, but it's crazy. Like it's mad. And 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 look, see, look how quickly it changed now. I don't even think you could compare like Arsenal and United as yeah, like who's the bigger club. Yeah, Fergie, you Fergie won 13, yeah. bro. You, man, like, you know when you man abused it? Mm. You man abused it when we went into the Emirates era. Yeah, yeah, And you lot just done the maz off that three two, on a row. That 2000s era for us was mental. Because that 97, 98 era, Fergie versus um, Wenger, it was a very great rivalry. Yeah. yeah. Four, three, two, man, in it? Mm. Run of great rivalry, in it. But after that, bro, it's like we was here and then we went here and then you went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, now we, we, we went around stuff the right Even if we weren't winning titles, because obviously you lot came into play, Chelsea came into play, but just the players we were signing, the way we were like moving the tour, going on tour, signing players from different countries as well. Yeah, obviously yeah, Park just boosting that, that the yeah, whole, yeah, just the brand. everything. Mm. So, yeah, it's true but that's why that's, that's the greatness of Alex Ferguson, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, he's fucked. He's, he's too good, man. What would you say then? Best manager of all time. What? 
No, he can have that no, one. No, 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 because he, he, he can have that he, one. He, he, he agreed as well. Mm. So I, I coming into it, I thought as well that Arsenal's the bigger club. Yeah. But I think it will change in if if it continues the way it is now, I think it will change in about 10, 15 years. But that's that's a long time. But that's if it continues. You never yeah. know. Pep Guardiola yeah. leaves. Could be, could be. Could be. Could be. Leaving real soon. Yeah, could be. All right, next one. Next one. All right, next one. Should I start on the the last one? Yeah, the one you stuck up. I won that one, yeah. Yeah. Come on, guys. All right, cool. The winner is. You don't got to know. He's not used to winning. You know. I want to go with this and not the other one because this is this is them. No, we do go with this one. We go with this one. But if it's a easy debate, then we drop it to the next. But we can mention both. But just start with this statement. Okay, okay. Just start with this statement. Okay, so the treble winning Man City team better, better than the Invincibles as a team. Of course, <laughs> of course. No, it's, don't be I silly. Can't lie. Don't I'm be not, silly. Listen, listen. I'm not gonna be deluded enough t- to say that Young Wolves a better team. Yeah, but I feel like what we've done winning the league without losing is a record that's never been done before. And I don't mm. think it ever will be done. Forget. Mm. But overall, as a team, in terms of quality, like they have more f- like better football, isn't it? You know what I'm saying. So if they were to play one off game now, who would win? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? That's well, my th- that's my thing because I, think I don't think City beat Arsenal. I don't on think City beat game. that Arsenal team. You don't think? So? No. One off game. You've got Henri. You've got Vieira. You've got Perez. By the way, got take into consideration man. that that team didn't lose. Mm. Yeah. I don't think the City team would beat them. But, at, but at the they did time, lose in Europe, though. Yeah, at the same time, the noise. That's what, that's what, that's what, <laughs> that's what I'm about. saying. At the same time, though, we haven't really faced that that season. We never faced a quality team like City. So you can see that one. I don't even no, need to argue no, that. A, no, look, I'll be real. It's a, it's a don't be wrong. It'll be United a great game. Good. Huh? United weren't good. You played United. In that United Europe. team was nowhere near as good Where'd as. Where did you go in Europe from? No, were you saying Europe? We or played United saying? twice in the league. No, no, he's talking about that. What are you talking about the league? Yeah, yeah, that oh, when we won the uh, the Invincible. Yeah, no, season. no, no. Yeah. But you're saying we d- you didn't play a good team or a great in the team. league, innit? Oh, in the league. Yeah. Oh no, United. Yeah, United were good. Not as good as the City team. Oh yeah, not as good as nowhere the City near team. Nowhere near as the City yeah. team. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah that but year. But at the same time, I feel like but it comes down to obviously different areas of football. You know. The money, yeah, yeah, of course. The, the, the transfers, pay, yeah, all that like, kind of stuff. Yeah, it's me, different. Like, come on, Freddie Jumberg, I love the guy, but Bernardo Silva. Yeah, him. I'm not seeing, yeah, but it's I'm not, not saying really player for player that that. But it helps, can, obviously, to get. And obviously, win. I'm just saying, like at that time, the football they were playing yeah. and the team, the dominance that they had yeah. in that league, it's different. It's like saying, like, you put the City squad was a better squad than Leicester the season Leicester won it, mm. but look what Leicester did to City, because that season what they were on, it was a different story. So I'm saying what well, Arsenal were on that season as well I think they would have beaten the City team I think that Invincible team is so we underrated can, no, in terms of what they were doing on the pitch as well 100% mm. of course they're capable of beating that Man City team no denying that mm. one off game of anything can happen in it but yeah. I personally believe the City team is better like if we go squad for squad you know, I feel like that team all together the team cohesion like the way we played last mm. season yeah. the dominance yeah. In Don't three competitions as well. Yeah, what they did. Like, no, yes. City last season yeah. were ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. No, the treble's like, mad. The treble, just winning the treble alone, the Champions League, what they did to Real Madrid. Bayern and Real Madrid. You know what, like, though? I'll be real, yeah? so impressive. The treble sounds unreal, which it is. It is unreal. And you're not going to get there easily. Yeah. But a few things change. It's a, it's a game of fine, fine margins. For example, FA Cup. The Gea doesn't let in a, bl- uh, a blunder. Is it a treble anymore? Inter Milan. They, they came close in the Champions League mm-hmm. final you know whoever the last minute mm. uh, who, who struck the ball was it Jeff? No, I someone, don't know but, someone, I know but something happened yeah, Lukaku, Lukaku was, was wild something that happened and that, that, well. if that goes in do you get me like ugh, it's, it's not a trouble anymore Arsenal if they had a bit more experience in the team whatever but it's is like it a trouble you anymore you can say the same so thing with Arsenal you can say like, look, if of course never of course penalty. of course but yeah. that's that's my thing yeah, it's like, fine trouble, margins anyway yeah exactly trouble sounds unreal and it is bro even Man United when we on the trouble there's a bunch of luck to it but it doesn't mean like they're untouchable. Like on a one-off game, like there are things that could go in the other team's favor. But are we saying who would win in a in a in a one-off game? Are we saying like who's the actual better team? Mm, better team is different because you're. I think recency bias. You're just gonna say City. I think everyone would say City because we see the style of mm, football now. Yeah. Like it's just way way um, above what it was before. I'm saying on a one-off game. One-off game. Who would win? See, the thing is, I think City squad is better than Man United's in 2008. But I still would think on a one-off game, Man United would win. I think that Arsenal team had more leaders. 
Mm, yeah, yeah, for sure. I think so as well. I yeah. think that Arsenal. Who's in the midfield? Vieira, 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 I honestly Vieira, think Gilberto and Vieira on, ahead of them. Like Burkham, I think the, you see the personalities in our that squad mm. and the personalities in that City squad. I feel like they had a lot of talent, but when it comes to that personality and that just that that leadership, but that's what that I'm dog, saying, bro. When they were on the pitch, they knew had. they were the best as yeah. well. Just like the same way you the can mental say the City, fortitude. same thing. But yeah. that Arsenal team, each player there, bro, they just knew yeah, they were bro. on job. That's honestly, that's why I think like against you lot, they're not. They're not like the Arsenal now where you can... Oh, not Arsenal now because it's changing, but I always used to say the Arsenal team, they don't have balls in it. Yeah. And uh, there's no spine in that team or whatever it is. Maybe now it's changing, but back then, that's when they last had it. And that's 100%. when they weren't a joke. You got no, you're, right, you're right, you're right. You're right with you that. got Henri up front and you got Burkamp next to him or behind him. It's, it, I'm not going to say it's equivalent because in my opinion, it's obviously better than Haaland and KDB, but stats-wise, it's not. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Mm. But I would be way more afraid coming up against Henri and Burkham. Who's, who's the centre-backs? And every who's the centre-backs? The centre-backs, that's what I'm saying. So if we can go from the goalkeeper, from Jens Lehmann, yeah? Jens Lehmann, a leader in, in, in himself. He's a leader, but he's kind of ass. So. Now, forget about leader. Forget about leader and that. About leader and that. But okay. who, who's but in the centre-backs? Back? So centre-backs, we've got um, Campbell. Saul Campbell, and we've got, we had Colo Torre in that invincible mm. team, right? Mm. Yeah. Colo Torre, that was prime Colo Torre, so I did that at that time, right? Still mm. has a bozo no, trade, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Bozo, but he's still got a bozo trade. But he was just elite. Yeah, he was elite. Then, obviously, full-backs, you had Ashley Cole. Lauren. And Lauren, Lauren, animal, mm. Jaget just had that dog and technical was very good. Jaget mm. was like a winger slash right back hybrid. It was weird, yeah, Lauren, yeah. right? Had experience playing in La Liga before that. Mm. So th- these are, these are the signings Wenger made, and they showed that yo, I can actually ball out. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I've got the quality to play. They've sustained that that season. They won the league. They never lost. Jaget, the mental fortitude to go through that season and not lose a single game. I don't think this that City team can do that. Jaget. They and it's okay. not to downplay no, your, your team couldn't couldn't do it in all competitions. But that's what I'm saying. We're talking in terms. Who'd you go out to in the Champions League? That year? I saw you went out to a, like a media team in the Champions League. Chelsea, no, Chelsea. Chelsea. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. Okay, Chelsea. Middlesbrough, Mid- Middlesbrough, Middlesbrough, and the Cup. Chelsea, Middlesbrough, Middlesbrough and the Cup. Come on, bro. FA Cup to Man United. Come on, bro. No, FA Cup to Man United. Was it Man United? Yeah, FA Cup. Oh, one of the Middlesbrough to something, nah. League Cup or something. League Cup. Obviously, was playing a lot of young French players in time. No, but I don't think, bro. I don't think it's sometimes the League Cup. I personally believe. I get it, but the Invincible, the Invincibles, it's like you're talking about the league in it. So when man them talk about other stuff, like you don't expect them to to just win everything without losing. I hear that. But I hear that. Like we lost to Man United, didn't it? Yeah, you lost to Man United, yeah. Chelsea, I right, call cool. Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough happened, to, <laughs> they slapped you 8-0 or 8-1 or whatever. The teams that we lost yeah. to. <laughs> 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 that is, it's kind of cheeky for that one. No, but I'm saying, yeah. Tun Chai. Oh, my God. See, remember Tun Chai? You should remember them, bro. No, but listen to this, yeah. Look, if I personally believe, if Pep Guardiola said, yo, this season I'm not losing in the league, and his main focus was that he can do that. Ah, but it's easy to I say think, that. I think he can. Kind of Very easy. But it's to easy that. to if, say that. If he said, "Yo, I'm gonna dash every other competition away, and I'm gonna focus on the Premier League and not lose a game," I believe he could do that's that. That's interesting. That's an interesting. I point believe I he can do that. I've seen that City team lose some like games I wouldn't expect them to lose. Okay, 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 cool. But you can can you say the same about Arsenal? The same when Tom Garrett sat here and said that oh, he feels like we decided to focus on the league and not and like draw a lot of games. And just finish the the league unbeaten, so we can yeah. say we finished unbeaten. Well, you yeah. Then you can trouble. go. Then you can go and lose to Middlesbrough. You can go and lose to Chelsea in the Champions. It's the same thing. So you think you could have won a treble if you didn't focus on the league? No, I'm not saying we could have won a treble, but I'm saying you can use the same point that he's saying. Yes, like, but you could say that. All right, cool. They just wanted to focus on that, so they they stopped if focusing he, if, too if much Pep on puts in Europe. All his eggs in that basket, and he says no to Champions League, no to FA Cup, no to League Cup. Then his chance of going unbeaten is very very high. Uh, not very high. It's it's higher than mm. an average team. It's, he could he could do it, but it's not guaranteed. Yeah, it's not guaranteed. Never Nothing's ever like, guaranteed. No, I wouldn't, mm. I wouldn't even. Yeah, I wouldn't even say. It's what do you think's final. harder, invincibles or treble? That that that's the main question we're talking about. Here. Tre- uh, I'll, I'll be real. What do you think's harder? No, no, no that's harder. yeah. I think I think it's harder as well. So yeah. I don't the think. Point, I don't no, think no, the point harder. is, I think it is. I, you know why I don't? Think it is more you know why I don't think treble's harder because we've seen Manchester United win the treble, right? Mm. Yeah. There was times where people thought Chelsea could do the treble. Yeah. Mm. Times where Chelsea won the Premier League, they won the FA Cup, right? People thought they could win the trouble, yeah. Mm. Liverpool as well. People thought they could do it, yeah. <laughs> so your point is, no one's done it. Nobody's in, done it. In but yeah. but nobody's come even. But close. they have okay. in Europe. Okay, cool. Liverpool well, came close. They lost one game. No, so did so did Chelsea. That's and Chelsea what I was gonna as say. well. So I was going to say that if you switch it up now and then you say, cool, we've spoken about that. You can say the the City side is better or Invincibles is better. Like yeah, if yeah. it's a one-off game. But if we're saying, what's more impressive, Invincibles or the hundred points? What would you say? 
Because a lot of people would say the centurions, centurions is, is more centurions, impressive. Bro. And I'll because be honest. They, they would say as well that cool Arsenal won it without losing a game. However, a season straight after that, Chelsea won it, lost one game, conceded 15 goals. Mm. That's more impressive. As well. That's saying? true. That's you true. Know? You know, okay. that's actually like, a lot of people and, would and say that. Like they would, they would impressive. mention. Keyword impressive. Mm. What's gonna impress you? A team that's got that's won the league. Yeah. No, I, I, league I'm, I'm with you. Losing, I'm with you. Didn't spend all that money. Yeah. Or a team that spent millions and millions on getting the best ever player with unlimited mm. resources to go and get hundred points. What's more mm. impressive? No, no, I'm with you. But I'm just saying that that the fact that there's so many different arguments that you can say you can mention the Chelsea thing and say that that was even more difficult to do because to concede only 15, 15 goals that's a joke yeah, uh, Chelsea man. still spent a lot of money yeah of course mm. but but that's what I'm saying people Vincent. don't understand Wenger's a freak he was never meant to do what he done mm-hmm. he had no mm-hmm. right he had no right getting these players for this amount of money and winning stuff like that or winning mm. in that manner. He had no right, bro. Because if, listen, if that was so common, every Tom Dick and Harry would be able to do that. <laughs> every Tom Dick and Harry would go get a, a fellow from the French League for two, for mm. 500 bags mm. or go get someone from Syria who ain't getting played for 2 million and turn him to world beaters and, and create a team that goes and mm. wins it invisible. Everybody would be doing that. But bro, eh, well, it's not, when you look at that Chelsea team mm. under Abramovich, of course, when you've got an open checkbook for a manager to go and do what you're doing, mm. you, you've got that backing, you've got to deliver. Mm. Okay, but you've got to deliver. Yeah, I agree. But at the same time, you, obviously you mentioned Invincibles and the achievement is crazy and no one's ever done it in, in British football. But it has been done abroad. It has been done Italy, right? Did Juve go Invincible? Yeah, I think Obviously, so. Bayer Leverkusen sure. this year is looking crazy as well. I don't know if yeah, they'll go sure. the whole way. Bayern? Yeah, Gerard, Gerard, Gerard done it with Rangers. Yeah, yeah, there's, that's a, a, Rangers. yeah there's a few yeah. teams that have been, gone Invincible. But before the City team, there had only been one team in the in the Premier League that had done the treble, and that was Man yeah, United. Facts. So, you know, it, it's all, it's only going to take one team in the Premier League to do it, and then the, the achievements are basically the same. Yeah. There's two teams in England that have done the treble. There's one team that has gone invincible. So it's not that far off, is what I'm saying. I what you lot done is you can say that. Yeah. You can say that. Yeah. Which I is see, fair. I see more. I see it more happening that someone might get 100 points again, or someone might concede yeah. 15 goals again, yeah. then not losing the game. Yeah. No, I, I, think that I, is I agree with that. Yeah, but that might be based on the fact the league has gone better. And yeah. it's harder yeah, not to could, lose a game. You could yeah, say that. Yeah, you could say that, bro. Like, let's be honest. How many defenders and that do you remember from the lower top 10 teams in that invincible season? You cannot name more than five. What? I, top defenders? Yes. What? I couldn't even name the teams in that season. Even the teams, bro, the teams that you lot are playing in that yeah. season, yeah? Like great defenders at that time, bro. Come on, bro. Uh, let's be honest. Bro. No, but that's the that's, that's and clubs, teams though. and teams. How but that's teams different, are different, though. We can go for the clubs, bro. That's come different. on, man. Like, the, how good Lenny King at that time was solid in 10 years' time. Yeah. I don't King. think you'll be able to name yeah. the Tottenham. The, the, he was solid, right? The Liverpool teams at that time, who did have um Sammy Herpy and all these guys at that time, regarded as mm. quality center backs, right? Who Liverpool, yeah, at that time, Sammy Hippie, he was regarded as a quality center back in the league. Don't have no, he was highly respected in the league. Liverpool's a big club, bro, yeah. No, Don't but he's saying, he's saying okay. the lower half. You're lower. talking about that season, isn't it? Like the lower half teams, bro. They the were shit. Teams. They were dog shit, bro. Let's be honest. So, like, Man City. <laughs> Who did City have the Man City? Let's be honest, though. Look, look I can't yeah, lie. Quality, we'll, we'll have to go back. It's been, a, it's been a, yeah. a long time ago, isn't it? Obviously, mm. 100% quality of um, football has gone up, but. Remember at that time, we were still kids in it, you get? Like, yeah. we, we, we remember, we don't remember yeah. in depth like we yeah, do course, now, you yeah. So at that time, there was probably s- defenders that were actually rated at that time. Mm. See how today we can look at someone like Lewis Dunn and be like, yo, this guy's a good centre back, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you get? In, yeah, yeah, in no, the I future, hear it, I hear it, I hear it. people will try to play, you think, not everyone will remember Lewis Dunn. Of mm. course not. But at that time, if you remember, you'd be like, yo, Lewis Dunn was good, you get? I hear it. That's how, how he's like. Because if we ask our olders, yeah? Yeah. No, do you know what you need? You need 2005, 2006 match attacks. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go for every player. Sorry. I swear, because when you see the names on there, yeah. and you remember, like guys like, guys like Silva and Distan. Guys like Silva and Distan. Zach Knight. Christopher Samba. Christopher Samba, Pat Burn Dave. See, but like back then, he was one of them Lewis Dunk. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Short that cross and that. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that's crazy. Bolton, who Bolton? Bolton has some centre backs as well. Bolton had a nice team. I like Bolton's yeah. team. Bolton, Bolton, Bolton was good. Bolton was, was good. They, yeah. good Did, they had Kevin Nolan. No? Kevin, Nolan Kevin Nolan. Kevin Davis. Yes, Kevin, Davis. Kevin Davis. Stelios Giancopoulos. Yes, Who was the crazy. striker? Uh, Elmando. Elmando. Oh. Um, they had Ricardo Vaste. Yeah. Oh. They had Ricardo Gardiner, the fullback. Jamaica fullback. Bro, they had... Uh, oh, yeah. Thing though, um, Steinson, Okocha, 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 yeah, yeah, they had Ivan well. Campbell. They had a big stadium as well, innit? The Reebok, Reebok Stadium. Yeah, Reebok Stadium, yeah. Oh, big that was stadium. a bogey ground. I remember when they signed Anoka and he dunked on us. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, Anoka as well. That's crazy. But yeah, okay. to conclude, 
let's say City, Arsenal, that City team, uh, treble team against the Invincibles, I feel like you would say City would win. In a one-off game? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You said already, saying, no, no, but yeah. you, no, but you said in a better. You said who's a better team? In a one-off game, I could see us winning. But at the same time, I could see them winning as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so who's the but better team? Who's the better team? Oh no, overall see. they're the better team. Yeah. Okay, what's the better achievement? Quickly, just treble. Treble. I think treble, man. I'll be you know why? No, I've got it in my shirt. What do you bro. think? I've got the stats on my shirt. Uh, they've they imprinted it, bro. Oh, they put it in. The record, yeah, bro. That'll be one twenty six games. Gold. Like There's a reason why this is gold, bro. You're not hanging on, man. I'm hanging <laughs> on, but it's gold. <laughs> we always no, hang on been, to gold. Should have been. Um, Go on. Uh, it's probably the treble, isn't it? Treble's more impressive. I think treble's more treble bro. because you're spreading your but players I think, yeah. across. But I think it's everywhere, bro. But I think Invincibles is more impressive than the hundred points. I still think yeah, that. Yeah, yeah okay, you can have that. Why so are you angry? So is Man United... <laughs> between us, what's <laughs> so 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 like, you know they want to treble as well. Is, <laughs> treble, is Man United's treble in yeah. 98, 99 more impressive than the Invincibles? Yes. Yes, it is. Treble, treble. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Treble, treble. Yeah, 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 yeah. And look at the players you have. Right so treble's more treble. Invincible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Invincible. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a treble, bro. Even though we never lost a game. Yeah, but it's a treble, bro. Bro, you've won three trophies. In that sense, you never lost a tournament. Do you get what I mean? Mm. Cleaned sense, up won, everything, the, the free, The three big ones, you never lost. Mm. Well, you probably lost the game. You know what it, it is? I feel trophy, like, bro. yeah, I can understand both arguments, innit? Mm. It's the ones there where I can, I'm not going to say to you, yo, how can you say that? Mm. I, I get it. I yeah. understand you. Okay, if you're I also... You. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, if this Arsenal awesome team were to win the treble, yeah, oh next season, God. you will rate that more than, <laughs> than the Invisibles. Depends you on would. You would. Trust me, you would. It depends, innit? I can't let it. depends. It depends. Let's move on to the next one, yeah? Let's move on. Cool. So is, is that one a draw? No, no, that, one, one, no that one. We'll see. I want to win. It's 1-1. Say it's a draw now. We'll say it's a draw now. All right, this one I'm actually interested. I'm going to skip it. You're interested? You're going to skip it? I'm going to interested. I'm, I'm, I'm interested <laughs> in it because I'm going to skip these. Oh, oh, oh. Straight to this one. Which one? Third one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, don't hide. All right, cool. Okay, cool. So, ooh, how do I word it? Just in English, isn't it? Cool. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Phil Foden. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's talk. Let's talk about it. Bro, I feel like I'm on Twitter. <laughs> 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 Is Phil Foden a better player than Bakayo Saka? 100%. 100%. If you love this game, Bro, if you love ski, football, look, I've said you know it so many times, with. yeah. I've, all, I've said, no doubt about it, Phil Foden is more talented than Bakayo Saka on it. He's the better footballer, technically, you get. But as a player, in terms of consistency, performance-wise, I give it to Saka. But then, obviously, I would hear the argument, oh, Foden hasn't been able, he hasn't been able to have a starting spot because he's got the likes of KDB, Balan, and all these players ahead of him. Mm. I get it. But at the same time, Saka broke into an Arsenal team at a young age, an b- Arsenal team as well, and it's not just a small club. It's Arsenal Football Club. There's big pressure. Of course, Sai. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, yeah, yeah. there's big pressure to get. So, mm. I remember at that time when he broke in, we had signed 72 million Nicolas Pepe, right? Oh, God. Where is he now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. No, just carry on. Don't even speak about that, guy. Just carry on. You don't even speak about it. No, no, don't speak about it. Just carry on. Wait, where is he now? Don't speak about him. Carry on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't speak about him. Carry on. Yeah, yeah. He didn't give him a chance what to answer. Chance? <laughs> what you're mentioning Pepe like he's yeah. a factor here. He's not. Let me learn. Let's see where I'm going. Uh, right. Goodness gracious. Lost my train of thought there. Um. So, yeah. So, like I said, obviously he's broken into the team, right? Nicholas Pepe was a 72 million man. Someone that also has ex- expected, you know, to be performing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Living up to your price tag, right? Bukayo Saka broke into that team, became a key player for us. It, beca- it got to a point where Bukayo Saka was one of the main reasons why we was winning games. Do you mm. get? He was a big factor, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Even when he broke into the team and it was a left wing and he started off as a left back, bro, he got the most assists in the Arsenal team. Do you get? Mm. Instant impact from left back. He's not even a left back, but he could done a great job there. When it, I'll say around 2020 season, when he became like a right winger starter, Bro, him, ESO, Martinelli, you could see the impact that they made. You get and Saka was the guy, kind of the guy that was leading that pack. You get mm. when we went through that banter period, that banter era when we was losing like five, six games in a row during that pandemic season. Yeah, Saka as a young player, yeah, you could see how many times he was a hatchery. Like you could see even through social media posts at the time, he was like, "Yo, like Arsenal fans, like you lot don't deserve this." 
Mm. For a young a player young. to have all that on your yeah. back, bro, it's crazy, bro. Mm. He, Saka should have been like, like see Foden, he had elite experienced players around him, always got an arm over the shoulder, people that he can learn from. Saka mm. never had that. Saka had guys that are banning and like I said, are all trying to ban now. Yeah. Again, not yeah. serious guys, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Saka never had any of that. I respect that so yeah. much. The environment, and he still prevailed that. He never had the best environment. He never had a winning um, culture. Um, he, ne- he never had an environment that, had, that was based on winning culture. He mm-hmm. never, do you get? Mm. That was a period where we was bannered a lot, do you get? And he still prevailed, and he still delivered. And he got Arsenal into a team now that's competing for the title, do you get? Mm. It's competing for now two years in a row, right? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Becoming a key player, yeah? And... The statistics as well helps him as well because statistically he's been up there with um, Phil Foden, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. When Phil Foden's at Man City, he's got all these quality plays around him. You know, Phil Foden, can, he's a great player. Don't get me wrong, technically great player. He's got the capability of putting in a nice ball through to a forward. That's clinical. Mm. Put the ball away, you get mm. Saka. Come on, at that time he's relying on guys like that, like I said to get the end of his crosses. You know what I'm mm. saying? To get the end of his balls. It's different, isn't it? They both had different paths. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. For me, this is the this season is the first time I'm seeing full forward and actually like yeah, mm. I'm carrying City. I'm gonna be the guy that's gonna be deciding mm-hmm. games. Do you get me? Mm. Obviously, you could say off oh, like he never got a chance to play in his position because I get told he's a ten, he's a midfielder, mm. he's not a winger. But they tend to give me arguments in in previous seasons where he's turned up, but where he was playing out wide. Do you get? Mm. So it's like you can't keep moving the goalposts. Phil Foden's just a great player technically. He can play different positions. He can play out wide. Do you get? If he doesn't have a great game there, don't then turn around and tell me, oh, he's not a winger. Because when you lot bring up them times in the Champions League, when he had them Champions League um, games against Madrid and PSG and Dortmund and that, and he was doing his thing, was he not Was he not playing in his position? He wasn't. Do you get? He was playing in a different position. Mm. But he still balled out because he's a great footballer. You know what I'm saying? So you can't keep picking and choosing. For me, look, if you also say Foden's a better player, I'm not going to sit here and disagree with you, Nick. It's, for me it's a fair debate but with what Saka's done I respect that and right now give it, and also another factor for their country as well mm. who's the one that's been standing up for their country because mm. Saka two times England player of the year do you get at the Euros his first Euros stepped up you know what I'm saying <laughs> you know what I'm saying like he stepped up he stepped up and that was yeah. a time where Foden you know was probably People probably rated Foden more. People probably went into that Euros expecting Foden to be that guy. Yeah, that's you true, get that's true. Foden himself got gassed. He dyed his hair blonde thinking he was Gazza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, World Cup as well. For Saka, again. Mm. Turn up yeah. against France. Like, I remember on the yeah. timeline, I remember mm. on, 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 on the app at the time when Saka got subbed off, I remember all the French fans saying, thank God he came mm. off. Like, this guy was just causing havoc. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and... That's what I respect about Saka. Mm. He might not be more talented than Foden, might not be naturally as gifted as him, but bro, he's his consistent, impact. the impact, mm. he's got that dog in him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And that's why I'm putting Saka ahead oh, of him. Okay. But if you was to tell me Foden's better, cool, a lot of men are going to say he's the better footballer, so I hear it why people come from that angle. Mm. Mm. He's more talented than him, look what mm. he done. I see comps of Foden where he does some crazy things. Look, how can this guy mm. be better than, how can this guy be better than Foden? I hear that, but bro, Look at Salah and, and, yeah, and yeah, Hazard and yeah, yeah. There's a lot of man that think Salah's better than Hazard. Like, sense, yeah. But mm. when you're talking ability wise, you think he can t- chat to mm. Eden Hazard? Yeah. Are you done? Are you done? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, time. I'm hearing a load, a load of bad like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Rico. Go on, Rico. <laughs> Look, don't mention Salah. Salah's one shit. That's number one. That's ha- Hazard and Salah so debate. Hazard. But th- he's one shit, bro. So it's Hazard. That's what. That's why p- some people might edge him towards it because Hazard's one as well. They both. They both won stuff. They all won the same thing. Exactly. Anything, Hazard exactly. Won more so, so, so you bringing up Salah has no relevance I'm to this point. No, I'm giving you. It has no relevance to this point. Example of someone that's technically a better footballer. Okay. But okay. But if he's if still Sal- not better than that player, if Salah right? did not. If Salah did not win anything, no one will put his name next to Hazard, bro. Am I lying? Mm. Yeah, that's true. Okay, cool. So that we we'll, we'll forget about Salah. We can do that. That one's gone. Though. That one's gone. <laughs> <laughs> we can. Go is, on, go is it easier to shine in an Arsenal team or a Man City team? Can you answer that question for me? As a man, if I'm a great player, um, easy for me to shine in a Man City team where I'm around, surrounded by great players. You get world class players. Hmm. You get me. What do you, what, what that's, do you a, that, that's a tough question. And I could learn. I could develop. As soon as you say it, it's like the the reflexes to say Arsenal. Yeah. 
because you're like. But I'm saying stand singing, out. I'm saying yeah, stand yeah, out. It's hard. It's hard. It's, it's harder to stand you're out. Saying that there's so many good players that you can even look even better. Yeah, yeah is yeah. a different thing as well. Like, so I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's a bit like Manu, isn't it? Like coming into that like, United team, mm. like he's so much, like he, it, we're so bad that yeah. anything that's good looks, looks great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas, but you, but you can look. I'm, I'm not him. taking. But you can look at Manu and be like, this guy's a top footballer. Yeah, and you can say, yo, you put this guy in an Arsenal team, in a Liverpool team, a City team, you're still getting the same player. Right? Yeah, but Co- when you're so when everyone's playing unreal, it's 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 very hard to stand out. But it that's you're still a tough doing question. your job. That's as long question. as you're doing your job and you're performing, yeah. that's what matters, right? Yeah. It's mm. your consistency. That's okay. what matters. Mm. Well, okay, cool. He, Foden might not be a main star. Cool. But who is a main star for Man City? If I ask that question, because okay. if I if I look at the numbers, bro, over the last three seasons, bro, him and Bernardo and Mares. The numbers are similar, bro. More is a hero. Some, someone Mahrez might, never some, really someone might have started four more games than the other, but they're all similar. They're close to each other. Pep Guardiola is known for rotating his wingers, bro. Mm. You get me? No one in that team starts every game. Rodri, even Diaz now doesn't even start Rodri's every game. Rodri's a starter. No. Rodri's, Rodri's, a, a, Rodri's a, is a starter. He started every game, you know. Edison is starting every game. Walker? If K, if, nah, Walker's not even a guarantee, bro. I'll be is honest. Is that just now? Or what, are we talking I'm talking about the last two, three years, bro. That's what that's, that's what yeah, this debate's he was, he was about. Okay. For, a, for a period of time yeah. as well, yeah. Edison starts every game. Oh, if yeah. KDB's fit, more more time he's starting, bro. Mm. Bernardo, he's starting. Other than that, bro, Rodri, you might not uh, play. Obviously, <laughs> you might not play, bro. Before Haaland club as well, you know. Haaland as well. Haaland's a starter, but yeah. the the main point here is now Pep Guardiola rotates his players. That's why a lot of players leave the club. Mm. If we're being honest, bro. Yeah. Like the likes of Laporte have left the club. Top centre back, bro. Mm. He's not getting games. Mares, he left. Why? Laporte kind of overstayed. Exactly. No, but l- l- look at Mares though. Mares left the club. He won a treble, but he never started in none of the final. Was Mares ever a was, was Mares ever a starter though? But that, that's like, the, I that's the point. That's the point. That's, that's, that's the, the point. He's saying that you can't. You can't with okay, with no wingers. Mares, you yeah. can't. With Mares, what winger has Sane, 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 like mad potential. But then even he said that. Yo, I yeah, need, I need to cut, bro. I need to get games. Yeah, at that time, because what he was. Look favorite, at Raheem Sterling. He was, he was what, favorite Sterling. Okay, but no. What about Raheem Sterling? That's why. And Sterling was coming through with the stats. What about Sterling? No, because they both played together. Sterling was popping as well. I always used to say Sterling was better. I'm looking at him like your Sterling's more ability. But the point is, Sterling's numbers was one of the main reasons why Pep kept playing him in the team, right? The point still stands. High competition, bro. Yeah. If you have a bad week, you're out of the team. Mm. You're not playing next week, bro. Mm. High standards. There's not that. Saka at Arsenal, he had a good one season at left back. The next season, he's guaranteed to start games. It's it's an easier pathway, he bro. Guaranteed. He took his chance. He, got he took his chance. chance. He took but <laughs> my point, my, my point is, Saka could have had the two, three bad games, and he would still be starting. Really. We all know this, bro. No, I hear, really, I hear, you hear, I hear what I'm what trying to saying. say. I hear what you're the saying. reason why Saka once you become an important player mm. as a right winger, because when he got given that opportunity at right wing, he impressed right from okay, the Okay, that's mm. that's the, of course you're gonna no, you have I to impress it. to play. You're no, gonna have to impress. No, he's a young player. But my point Arsenal to you didn't is, have to like force it. The reason why Arsenal kept going with him is because he kept impressing. He kept the consistency up. He had the mentality to say, "Yo, I've got to give my chance. I'm not letting it go." And that's hard for you to hold that position. After you get given a has chance, Saka, has Arsenal, Saka ever it's turn, very hard. Has Saka Little ever turned up? The ball. Okay, mm-hmm. but wait, has Saka ever turned up in a business end of a season? Um, no, no, he, he hasn't. has. No, he, he has hasn't. not. He hasn't. He hasn't. Well, in, in, in them, to in them business well. ends, has he ever got dropped? When he's been having a poor run of five, six games, has he ever got dropped? Don't think so. Has Martinelli so. ever get got dropped in a business end? Martinelli, no. no. You've seen Martinelli get dropped for big games. Trossard, for Trossard, bro. Trossard starts certain games, bro. If Martinelli, business end, you said. In the business end of the season, or, or, or when season, it's crunch time in the season, bro. Last season, the business end, he never got dropped. Who? Martinelli. No, Martinelli's been dropped for Trossard before, hasn't he? Not in the business end. Regardless, bro. You just said business end. No, but like big games. Big, big games, like big games as well. Like when um, it, big games. When did Martinelli get dropped for Like when Martinelli's games? been playing a bit a bit. bit shaky. Yeah. Yeah. Big yeah. games, though. Recently, recently, he will yeah. get dropped. Yeah, Saka doesn't, game, though. Okay, okay. This no, does. What big game has Martinelli been dropped from? I'm trying to think of that now. Trossard played the other day, I swear. But I, I know no, there was injured, 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 injured. Oh, But there was a no, period of time where Martinelli Wait, was not, Martinelli not was needy and he got yeah, dropped. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, no, I think like it was like it was like December, December Jan, bro. Yeah, yeah, it was beginning of the year. It was beginning of the year. Yeah, beginning of the year. Yeah, yeah, beginning of this season. Yeah, yeah. It was beginning of this year, 2024. Okay, so that, yeah. oh, that's when we went. I wait, think around there. That's when you lose a lot of discourse then, about bro. Martinelli. He just puts his head down and then yeah, he yeah, just yeah, got bro. dropped a lot. But I hear you in that Saka's got, got, no yeah, no, no, no. got no competition. Yeah, Saka's got no competition. That's the main thing. Game, not not consecutively, but I think it's happened more than once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he's played bad and then he's been dropped. His point is, are we talking based off just this season? 
Yeah, but uh, no, look. The main the main point what he's trying to say is that Saka doesn't get dropped at all. He knows he can drop a, yeah. a stinker, a stinker and, and still play. Still right play. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. also the, Squad the whole city. Like, Saka's yeah. obviously reached a level now where yo, he's a top player. Like he's earned his position. He's a top player. But right it's now. also because of lack of squad depth. Don't yeah. you think a little bit? I, Same I, as Man United with Rashford. I think there's no one. He knows there's no one breathing down you, his neck. Thank you very much. So his performances. But, are but I don't think he's ever got to that level where Rashford's just been stinky. Who Saka? Yeah. yeah. No, but recently he's been really good. But before that, he was really but bad. He was still bringing numbers. Y- yeah. He might not have been the best. Performances he on the pitch. Not, okay. He, he might, wasn't. His performances might not have been the best or mm. like the top of the top. But it was f- decent level where mm. I can't say Saka shit. I can mm. still say you know what Saka. It was decent today, but nothing crazy. But mm. he was still producing. Mm. Get, he was still coming up with 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 important assists, important goals that was getting us points. To mm. get and. Like for example, remember what we used to say with key world class players in the past, yeah? Mm. They might not be the best, but they still get the numbers. Do you mm. get? They'll still go and get me that win. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's what Saka's it's a trajectory in his in, in his career, do you get? I'm at a point with him right now where yes, I understand what people are saying, yo, he's not getting dropped, he's got no adequate cover. Yes. But I feel like that's another area where we will address do you get and No, that's but my the next point, point my my point him to get my point win, is don't bring up all. Saka's been playing and he's the mainstay in our team, but Foden don't play when he has no competition, bro. Let honestly, if you look at it, Foden is competing with world class players, bro. Somebody got they're all timers. KDB's okay. an all timer, bro. If, if you swap Foden in that city team with Saka, I was just gonna say that. Does Saka play more or do more than Foden is currently? No, I, I don't think, think he still, so, gets no, no, rotated, I th- still gets rotated. I don't think he's doing I, more this yeah. season, though. With, with, the, no. with the likes of KDB out and what Foden's done this season, he's been this the season, best player no, I've seen, This bro. season, though, Foden's actually playing in his position. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Saka is not a 10. Mm. Do you get? But so, let's say, let's say no, if it's, it's playing, a scenario yeah. where Saka would have oh, to play. Oh, if Saka's playing right wing for, yeah. for um, City this season, he'll mm. cook. Bro, I'll be real. Pe- this Pep guy, I don't know what he thinks here. I've seen certain times where Mahrez is having a good three, four games here. And he just gets dropped. Mm. Like, he just gets he's dropped. Like that. He's like, yeah, he's you like, get like, maybe he sees like, something in training that we but, don't. But really what you see. don't know is. Caught him out of Road smoking shit. Bro, it hunger. gives all these. At the end of the day, it gives all these players the hunger, bro. Like, they know I can't lack on the pitch this week or I'm going to get dropped. They know. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Okay. That's why they win so much. <laughs> if you've got, if you've got um, one spot on the plane left for England, Euros, and you've got either Foden or Saka. Who you choosing? Well, we're gonna actually take the guy that that's has got that's, data. That's hard. Oh, that's don't say it's hard. hard. That's let's hard. let's you know let's why? let's use data. No, no, what no, no. Done for their no, no. Again, Foden hasn't done anything. No, for country, again, again, it comes no. it comes down to Saka not having no competition on that right hand mm. side. I was gonna say. Okay. No, no. I think right. forget, easy for, forget positional. I think forget positions. You've it's just got one player. Let's left. say Jude got injured. Let's say Jude got injured. Yeah. And those two players were the two last two players left. Are you taking Foden or Saka? Let's let's answer like that. I'm taking Saka. I'm taking a two play, two time England player of the year, someone that I can believe, I can trust, that show me that when it comes to the big competition, the biggest stage of them all, they perform. They have performed in the biggest stage I'll, of them I'll all. I'll be real, even if Bellingham is fit, I'm fine. I will try and find a way to stop Foden. I've got Madison. Oh, allow me, bro. You're doing. To- <laughs> you're, you're wearing an Arsenal awesome shirt, <laughs> and you're doing. To- <laughs> Come on, bro. Yeah, that's pain, man. Come on, that, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that, was, that was so pain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is below the belt. But look, 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 you told me. Look, that's a difficult one. No other, so but look, there's know. no other um, profile Saka. Do you get? There's no other. I just don't understand. In, there's no other bro, player that can do bro, what Saka could do in that right wing position. I'm right? keep it short and simple for you, bro. Yeah. I don't understand this. Saka carried us. He never carried you to nothing. Number one. That's number mm. point number one. Yeah. Mm. He hasn't carried you to anything. Point number two. Business end. The guy's missing, bro. Until I see him this season, he well, has 20, to perform. 21, 22, He had an Achilles problem that he was oh, nursing, my and obviously we never had the resources. Mm. Even Jad, to, even Jad's looking at you like, come on, man. <laughs> like, what you did? No, no. But obviously that's the yeah. truth. You get. We had some obviously. Last season, where did he go? Issues. Last uh-huh. season, I feel like the Saliba injury rocked oh the whole team. Oh my god! It rocked yeah, the whole well team. Well, I have to get a card out. Well, I get a card out. Is that my fault? That's my fault. Is that my fault though? Is that my fault? Man, am I getting injured? That's the yellow card. Jesus, Jesus, so my right winger. No, 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 no. But look, this is what I was gonna say. Yeah, I said this is what I was gonna say. Yeah. Look, VAR, can we overturn that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> so listen, on, so Saliba and Tom Yasu getting injured obviously changed the whole like, scape of our team and mm. it changed everything, right? Mm. <laughs> it wasn't just Saka that, you know, that got Fell off. affected. Yeah. Odegaard got affected. Tom's party, Zinchenko, 
Gabriel being part of that withholding. Ben White, shocker. Ben White was getting skinned by Jack Grealish. Do you get? Like, Jesus as well, come back from injury. Someone that we was relying on a lot last season. Martin, Martinelli was the only one that kind of held it up. It's right? a whole right? excuses, No, but this is true, though. It's you a whole excuses, And bro. Gabriel Jesus has also come out in a podcast back home in Brazil. Podcast. And said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see yeah. that? He even goes, he goes, yo, when Saliba <laughs> got injured, he goes, the whole team yeah. got affected. Do you get and that happens, you know what I'm saying? You could even. Did you Gabriel see? Jesus was on Diary of a CEO. Did you see that interview um, recently um, with Gabriel, um, the centre back, and Gabriel Magalhães and William Saliba no. in France when they were together? And no. they were getting. Um, they asked Gabriel, they were like, what was it like when Saliba got injured, mm. etc.? Gabriel said, oh, don't even remind started me. started crying. No. He just said, don't, he just said, yeah. don't even remind me. I can't me because remember, that's a bit PTSD. wet. PTSD. <laughs> that's weird. What? It's a bit wet though. No, he said, don't weird. remind me. It was a bad time. I can't understand. I felt that. I really felt so that. So Saka don't turn up in the business end because Saliba got injured. No, it was the whole team got affected. The way we played. Yeah. Like, it, look, it, we couldn't play with high line with Rob Holden. Couldn't play with high line. I hear you. I'll check that, please. No, no, we couldn't play. No, 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 no. You can't cancel the yellow unless you give a red, innit? So. Okay, listen. Let's relax. Calm down, calm down. Because you can make it worse. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, just okay. stop now. Am I wrong? Hold on. Why are you going to get second? Calm down. Listen, goodness gracious, oh, I feel yeah. like I'm in Paris. I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> um, with holding playing, obviously, we couldn't play the way we normally play, like play with that high line. Mm. You know, having like Saliba, for example. Saliba allows us to play that high line, comfortable on the ball, allows Ben White to push forward, right? We couldn't do that, Rob Holden, because if Ben White pushed forward, Rob Holden is unable to defend that whole right-hand channel on his own, bro. He ain't got the pace for it, and he ain't got the defensive awareness, right? Mm. So we had to tweak certain things about um, in our play, do you get? Yeah. And I'm just saying, it impacted us. That's all I'm saying. Mm. I hear it, I hear it. I hear, and I I hear, feel like I hear a lot of impact. That's natural. It yeah, was a blow, but a good it? player is a good player, bro. So when stuff is bad... No, but like, Saka's been in worse positions. You yeah. said Aubameyang and Lacazette. Yeah, I think he's been in worse He's been in worse situations. Situations. He's been in worse teams. Okay, he's, okay. Been worse teams. Okay. he's been under worse okay, management. Like, If it was just Saka and everyone else was turning up, then we can have that conversation where everybody got affected by it. Mm. Odegaard, someone that last season everyone was talking so about. Wait, you, wait, wasn't even talking, ask, you was talking highly about wait, wait, wait. last season, wasn't so, you? So he missed a penalty because Saliba was injured. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Anyone can miss a penalty. Okay, <laughs> okay. So what are we gonna are we gonna punish him for missing a penalty? Harlem missed a crucial, penalty. It's a crucial well. penalty, bro. It's a crucial, bro. You're about to win the league. You're missing. It a happens, penalty, bro. bro. Yeah. Listen, every, the stinking. greatest players in the uh, has, uh, has missed penalties in the past. You get mm. it happens. Mm. I'm not gonna like downplay somebody because they missed a penalty. It happens. Unfortunate. Okay. Before before we move on, do you think Saka's world class? No. No chance. Okay, do you think Foden is? No. Do you? I think Foden's closer to being world class than Saka. Mm. Well, fact. I don't think. I don't know about no, that. No, no, I agree with that because I don't know. If he, if he, technically, if he's a better footballer, then that makes sense. But it's not just about that. It's yeah, about performances as well. Bro, he's he's, 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 no, he's won. No, you have to be consistent. I'm, I'm with you. I'm you have with to you, be consistent. Foden's done a yeah, lot exactly. this season. Yeah, they're they're, they're both on that. But that's this season. Yeah, this season, he's Foden had and Saka. Are, in the that's Champions League, season. bro. Something your guys never done. Really? What? What do you mean? No, he don't has, look he has, like he has, he has. Don't look at me. But back in what? Don't look at me. Like back. Was he playing in his position though? When when he had. It don't matter. Oh, forget this position. What are you talking about? Because that's what they say, though. Yeah, but no, forget the position. This season, they're talking about this season. Even if he's playing amazing and he's not in his position, that's even more impressive. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, so then keep, but keep that same argument. then. Okay, cool. I don't want to hear people say it. Stop mentioning position. No, but that's what they keep saying to me. The City fans. They always say that to me. The City fans. They go, he's never been able to play in his position. Let's not focus on position. Sometimes you bring me the Champions League games. He was weren't playing his position, so you can't now say to me, "Oh, this season he's playing his position now." Now look, mm. like you can't keep doing. I, he- it. I hear it, but that's that's kind of more of a petty. Very, but that's what I keep saying. I've been dealing with it for the last two years. That's why mm. I'm addressing. I'm finally addressing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a therapy session, this one. <laughs> All right, so. But they're not well. Yeah. They're not what world class in it. What do you think? I think it's difficult because my, my my only beef with Saka is it can be though. Now, now he's been playing amazing. Like I haven't said anything bad about him <laughs> for the last like month or so. But don't get me wrong, this season the Champions League, like he needs to turn up. Yeah, froze already. Like, froze already. I feel like, yeah, yeah, bro. But that's what I'm saying. Like when it's big games, like but why? Because that Wendell. He's talking about Wendell. Well, Wendell. No, no, forget, forget Wendell. Wendell's forget Wendell. Same guy that just I'm saying big games. Ball. So wait, wait. it's a friendly, bro. Like, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's, it's a friendly. <laughs> it's a friendly, bro. Hey, hey. No, but listen, listen. When it's big games, I don't, I don't see much of him. Like, I want, I want that type of winger that yeah, look for him. Yeah, exactly. You look for him. He gets the ball. And he does something. I don't want to hear. Oh, he's getting double teamed and this is like, bro. Thank you. Like yeah. I hear that all the time. It's the same I thing. Agree. It's the same thing with the position thing. A player gets double teamed. Like 
That doesn't mean that he's that amazing. That's sh- he's just a vital part of the way Arsenal play football 100%. and the way they move the ball. And we, he yeah. gets double teamed. He doesn't get it into Odegaard exactly. or to Ben White exactly. to be able to get into that position exactly. that they always do. So I get it, but at the same time, like I still like if the players that good, he can make something out of nothing. 100%. And, and I don't think Saka can do that yet. And there's other solutions as well. For example, like if he's getting double teamed, having Ben White overlapping, mm. Mm. it creates a solution to get yeah. draw the defender out. Yeah, but. It's not like they ben have been White, doing that a bit though. They've recently. been doing that, but it's like Ben White is not always someone that's gonna constantly yeah, overlap. Yeah, yeah. He's not that type of guy you get. Mm. So I, I hear that. And look, getting um, double team that's not an excuse. It's never an excuse to get. Mm. If I'm gonna, up, I say this to Arsenal. Yeah, that's some sly white story. Sly white, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, may Allah forgive me. But listen, <laughs> 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 but like that's not an excuse in the end of the day to get. If I'm gonna like class you as a world class wingers, being one of the best wings in the world, you've got to deal with that. Man. You've got to deal with that. I've never in my life ever said yo if a player like for example back then with all them world class wingers that we used to talk about you get your Robins yeah your Ruby, Robins the first one that came to yo. head because you could you knew what he was doing yeah. you know what yeah. I'm saying you knew what he was doing quadruple team yeah. him and they'll find a way <laughs> they'll find a way exactly yeah you find a way best players <laughs> best players in the yeah. world the best players yeah. in their position always find a way bro yeah. you get that's why I'm not trying to hear this. Oh, he's getting double teamed. Mm. Find a way. It's up to the coach. Bro, if you see my tweets about Saka in like recent months, every single one of them has a reply about getting double teamed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every single. I one think of it's them. a it's a coping it's mechanism. A cop it's, it's a cop. Yeah, it's a coping yeah, yeah. co- mechanism, isn't it? They see get? one person say it on Twitter, and then they're just like, "Oh yeah, that's that's the yeah. reason." You know that, that must that's be the, the reason. one. Yeah, 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 and I guarantee you, if he was to ask Saka himself, he knows he can do much better, and he's expecting to do better because Saka's very ambitious. He wants to be one of the best to get. You know what I'm saying? No, but that's what I really like about him, and I see I see it in him that he can get there but the way Arsenal fans talk about him sometimes I'm like he's not there yet 100%. for you to be speaking Arsenal like about Arsenal fans, you know our fans yeah of they course you run with it yeah of course I'm glad you know that some of, of course I see the, I see the behaviour of some of our <laughs> fans like apparently we've got the best player in every position like yeah. sometimes it yeah. work yeah. like that do you get yeah. some like our fans need to understand that yo, Remedy our fans need to understand that you're one of them guys though <laughs> don't, don't try lying. <laughs> Why do you guys lie? Why do you want to lie on my name? Why do you want to lie on my Last name? Last season, party is the best in the world. He was at one point. Saliba's the, the best in the, the world. Beginning. Like, come on, bro. Saliba, They've been why did I say Saliba's the best in the world? No, last season you're saying he's one of the best centre backs in the world, and he's the no, best. No, I said he's playing like one of the best centre backs in the world. I, I said to him, I said, <laughs> this guy's a liar. How are you lying in the month of Ramadan? Oh, <laughs> this guy's lying in the month of Ramadan. Anyways, listen to this. I said Saliba last season was playing like one of the best centre backs in the world right now. But he's still young and he's got to do it for the next two, three years if he really wants to officially be world class. Mm. Should get mm. last season when I was I not saying Ruben Diaz is better than Saliba. You said it based on the second that, half of the no, season. I was mate. saying it because I said Ruben Diaz has been more consistent and now look, he's leading City to treble. Mm. Do you get Saliba hasn't hit that level yet. So mm. how can I say that? Yeah. Older guard as well. That was his first season of proper being elite elite. Do you get? He was playing like it, but it's not just about doing it for one season. It's about consistency. All my life I've known about being to make it to a world class level, it's about being consistent, doing it for a certain amount of years. You get, mm. you know, like that. Actually, doing it in the big games, being consistent, being that player. You know what I'm saying? You can see someone's got the quality, but it's mm. about consistency, bro. Yeah. That's what gets you to that level. You get, you can't just be world class overnight. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They're still booked. Thomas Party. So young as well. Thomas Party. The reason why I said last season is one of the best in the world in his position because before Thomas Party came to Arsenal, he was doing it at Atletico. You get mm. under Simeone, he was there knocking. Liverpool out being the man the match and knocking 1920 Liverpool out a Liverpool mm. team that won the league that season mm-hmm. so he had data there's a reason why we paid that much money to bring him to get yeah. with Thomas Party obviously it's just fitness issues that we know but we know quality there's not, not many men that are betting him in the world I don't know about just fitness issues I don't, I don't know about that <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, yeah. Well, yeah. Done, right. though, but, do, to... but do you know what I'm saying yeah though? no I understand I it. It, makes, like, it makes sense yeah it makes sense but I think I think this topic is very difficult because I'm still struck. I'm here thinking in my head who who would I choose? I think and I'm I think finding, I'm I like I like Foden a little bit more. Yeah, I like Foden a little bit more as well. But then I'm I'm thinking you're looking wild, at it technically. Wild yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. You put like the whole pool of players that yeah. play now. There's such a lack of right wingers that yeah. are good that if I'm to choose which position I want, I might go with Saka instead of like a Cam because there's other Cams that I can think of. James Madison. <laughs> that, that can play I but, but I do like Foden more and I think he is the better footballer mm. but so yeah. it's so it's, it's, it's no, yeah, my thing with Foden has always been like output like it's just not as high as Saka but this mm. year there's a comp- so if I'm mm. looking at him technically and output as well then right, right, look, right, right, no, output, output, right, output Saka's still ahead this year yeah. no no of course of course, yeah. of course yeah. he is I don't, think, I don't expect it to be based on penalties yeah but even then like yeah but even like that's all it is 
Cole Palmer has scored a lot of penalties. <laughs> no one's Why are you talking about next guy? No, because no one's talking. You can't because you can't just downplay someone scoring penalties. Cole Palmer's unreal. Mm. So no, man. non penalty goals, the similar, same, bro. They're the same. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Uh, no, one, one more. more. Yeah, I think. Hey, though. Hey, though. Look. This is hilarious. Combined. Woo! La, la, la. I think this one. What? Uh, no. Who won that yeah, one? Who wins that one? I think so. That one, I'm personally going with Foden. I think, I think Foden is. Yeah. 2 so one. You're done. You're done again. Yeah. 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 So are you done. So y'all going to do with it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's a good debate. It's a good debate. You're saying ability wise. We're saying players. No, no, no. no, no. I'm saying fine margins though. If I've got one ticket left, I'm I'm just edging Foden. That's That's the way I'm looking at it. You're gonna, you're not gonna give it to a man that's shown you already he can do it. No, forget the England thing. Forget the thing. No, no, no. I'm not even thinking of that. I'm just thinking like ticket to Azerbaijan. We're going for the Champions League final. You're not keep moving. No, no, no. I think the inside job going on. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's all fair, mate. Uh, last one. Okay, so last one. Maybe last one. We'll see. That one. The one that you said. Yeah, let me see. Okay, but you word it in a different way. Okay. Actually, you can just say it like that. <sighs> More Manchester City players get into a combined XI of all time for Arsenal at Manchester City. <coughs> I think the, the easiest is, way, instead hey, of like debating it... These questions are favouring City, you know? No, no, I, swear I don't think so. I don't think so. It is, though. No, no, is it? It is, 100%. I don't think so. So you right off the bat, you think yes? I don't think so. So I oh, think if you if you debate got, it... They've had a lot of quality. Yeah. All time. All right, let's go. Let's go. Look how many quality players that these men have. All right, we'll do it. Position. No, but that's what I'm saying. If you do position, position, and then you that's where you kind of debate on what you want to agree on. All right, you count City players, I count Arsenal players. Okay. So goalkeeper, who are we going with? Who's your pick and who's your pick for goalkeeper? I'm taking Edison. Okay, and you? That's what I'm saying. Obviously, we've got Lehman, yeah. we've got David Seaman, Jaguette. Why? So it's like. No, See, those are the, the Seaman's options. Seaman's a Seaman's a Seaman's a Seaman's a Seaman's a Yeah, David. David S. David S. Seaman's crazy. It's got to be Edison. No, he was amazing, though. But that's what I'm saying. Is Edison a recency bias? No, I think he's underrated. That Ronaldinho. That Ronaldinho. That's different. That's different. He looks like Steven Seagal, bro. He looks like a martial artist, bro. Get him out of here. You know Steven Seagal, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeper got a point. No, he's still underrated, bro. He has one of the most amazing saves I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. That one when he pulls out. That's one of the most overrated. He's better than Schmeichel. Give it to obviously no, no, Edison. that save better than anything oh, Schmeichel's okay, done. Yeah, yeah. But no, well, I'm talking Schmeichel saved. Schmeichel's front flip was crazy. Who you ain't seen that. Who you have it though? Edison, Edison. Uh, I think it has to go Edison. Obviously, it's easy to say Edison because well, obviously the, the accolades, you know what I'm saying? Because no, but I still, I don't think, I don't, I think Lehman is overrated a bit. Even Lehman though I used to love side, him so. when I was younger. Why did you say he's overrated? Um, I just don't think he was as good. And and plus he was like Arsenal fans don't rate him as high. He's just known as to be part of that team. Like when when you think of the Invincibles team, he, had a really, he, he never really had a long stint though. Yeah, I know, but like he he also pissed behind the advertisement board. Yeah, it's mad. I don't know if you've seen. He's a mad man. He's a mad man. <laughs> he's mad. He's mental. Uh, that obviously the, when we, the year we got to the yesterday final. in the charity game. Nah. Sadoff smoked well, wait, him, Which bro. one? Which game? They had a charity Liverpool game. The Liverpool game? No, no, no. It was another charity There's bare charity games going on oh, at the moment. Yeah. Wait, I, I swear he's racist. Sadoff scored a mad goal. I think the Saturn... <laughs> yeah, no, it has to be Edison. Oh, that's a crazy... <laughs> that's <laughs> a crazy... <laughs> that's you don't think Edison's racist? Nah, probably not. He's got, he's got racist, though. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. He's, he's right. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Nah, but even with, like, playing out with his yeah, feet, of course, like, yeah. changing the yeah, game, that to like, I feel like... All right, Edison. No, but I think that. I think that comes down to football nowadays as well. Yeah, yeah. But when like, it comes to, like, like, reflexes, like when it comes to reflexes and things like no, that... No, but for the way City play, he's pivotal, bro. Yeah, 100%. That's Edison. why I feel like yeah. I think very Edison. I'm not. I'm not downplaying Lehman. I still think he was a really good keeper. Plus, you wouldn't get to the Champions League final without him. He had a ridiculous yeah, that's true. That's true. We didn't even concede a goal. Yeah. He, he saved Raquel Me's penalty yeah. in yeah. the semi final as well. So he gave away. He gave away the free kick. <laughs> yeah, he got we a card. We didn't concede a goal. Yeah, Raquel sent off. Yeah, but I said up to the final. I said up to the robbery though. Yeah, no, it was. It was. It was. It was a big game player. No, 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 it was a robbery, bro. That's what killed us. That's what killed us. But um, robbery, you know. After that, but then I think we scored after that, no. We made it so yeah, Campbell scored after the, the fact the playing of ten men yeah. Yeah, throughout the game and we're still in there. Oh, it died out, man. It just showed. Yeah. But eleven versus eleven, we would have won that game. Yeah. I feel like it was a better team. No, no, I think so as well. Edison's won it though. Oh, but Edison, Edison, Edison. Just give it to Edison, Edison, Edison right. in it. I think so left back's easy. Left back, yeah. Ashley Cole, yeah. Right, Ashley so that's one one. Centre back, centre backs. I think it's easy to say City. I'm saying Saul Campbell. I want to say Saul Campbell. Hundred percent Saul Campbell. But obviously, if you put him up against, it's a Saul Campbell company. Mm, that was what I was yeah, saying. Yeah, so come my company. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll give you that story. Actually, whoa, John Stones. 
Nej, nej, nej. Over Kronby? Ja, jeg så også. Står du så over Kronby? Nej, nej, nej. Og der er noget, der står over Kronby. No, no, no. I think someone said that. I think someone has said that recently on Barrett Brothers. I can't remember, but they were saying that company is a bit, not overrated, but like the city defenders that... Company was a solid guy. I don't like the vision of the company. Gonna have to take an ad break. He needs to go to toilet. Yeah, he's been... He's been shaking this whole time. <laughs> Bouncing is crazy. Bouncing, yeah. I like that. Go, what? Yeah, go for it. But you would, you so, would put Saul. Would you Saul put Campbell, Saul Campbell yeah. there? Yeah. I'll give you that just for the Invincibles, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Saul Campbell's elite. During his time, he was one of the best people no, no, in the world. Saul Campbell was. company, innit? He dealt with R nine in the World Cup, bro. Mm. Yeah. Caught R nine hooked. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you that. I'll Saul give Campbell was no joke. Have you seen that video of Saul Campbell? I think it was for England as well. When he slides, yeah. Oh, he keeps going. Uh, he don't funny. try to stop himself, yeah, you know, yeah, he just yeah. lets that it happen. That was hilarious. That, that, was that, <laughs> that guy. He was on the high road, just sliding. Uh, just sliding. Just sliding. <laughs> so, <laughs> fast, fast chicken and ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Royal fried chicken. Oh, just right, going past him. Sliding. So right, cool. was a legend. So, so Campbell, yeah. company or John Stones? Company. I have to give it to company. I don't like the we'll, division of we'll, 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 we'll give it to company, innit? Based on legendary to it. People kind of disrespect him in that kind of company. Yeah, I think so. Because during, let's be real, like during his time, he's probably, but he was respected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no. He was what? He was respected a lot. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Like no one doubted it. No, yeah, 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 yeah. I think now people just like to just try to be edgy. Everyone just yeah. nitpicks now, man. Yeah. Everyone's nitpicking. Bro, he was a leader during the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was a main centre back. Like, mm. during that Mancini, Pellegrini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there before yeah. uh, the takeover, innit? Yeah, he was. I think he, he plays a DM. Yeah. 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 He was playing as yeah. a DM. Yeah, he was. Yeah, I think Marcus signed him, innit? Yeah, from Anderlecht. Anderlecht, yeah. All right, bigger moments as well. Scored the Leicester. It's two-two so far. Yeah, so obviously yeah, right, right, right back, Kyle Walker. Walker. Okay, so it's, you got right three. Back. I got two. Okay. So Kyle Walker right back, yeah. 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 All right. Cool. All right, Bakari Sanyo's my guy. All right, right. so <laughs> midfield, midfield, <laughs> midfield is where it's a bit techy. Four three three. Are we playing four three three or four four two? Uh, I say four three three. Three three. Yeah, it'll make it more interesting. No. It's mad though, you know, because I can't lie. That's no, it has to be a four right. three three still. That's that striker position. I think four four two. I think it makes it more fair. Really? Yeah. Yeah. No, but si- like winger, wingers is a bit. Yeah, wingers. Is I a think bit it's weird even then, no? Why? But yeah, but the strikers and the cam, it's a bit. Actually, you know what? Yeah, cool. Four. What about we do three, a, three, a diamond? Uh, I know why you want four four two, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I know exactly why. I, I know, know what you want to do. Two, bro. I see. Yeah, I but see. Uh, but that, that's what it means. You it just makes want it more that fair. Second striker, get out of here, man. Yeah, it makes it more fair. All right, um, four three three. Let's just say second striker. You wouldn't even get that though. Excuse me. You wouldn't. DM DM Sergio Aguero. Yeah, but he's not a second striker. No, but no, 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 but four, it's two two strikers. It's two strikers. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it. No, no, cool, cool, cool. DM. Four, three, three. Who's DM? DM? Who's DM? DM. Patrick, Give them Patrick Vieira, isn't it? Okay, so it's three, three. <laughs> I'm surprised. Right centre mid. Then you're not getting normal midfielders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. KDB. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, you're KDB. Yeah, KDB. Yeah, you're KDB. KDB. Sesc. <gasps> Sesc. Oh. Nah, 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 I'm not having that. It's cooking. It's getting hot. No, 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 no. Sesc Fabregas. It's getting hot. We're talking about Sesc Fabregas for Arsenal, yeah? Yeah. We're not talking about. Don't yeah, think about even, his whole even then, even then, Cesc, Cesc, the, best, even then the, the best, the best, the best ever Cesc Cesc was Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah, but the best you are to is City as well. Yeah, no, no, no. I, yeah, yeah, what? I, yeah, wait. as in like you're saying it. As Forget, like, about yeah, Yaya. Yaya. Forget about Yaya. Forget about Yaya. Silva is starting. Gundogan as David well. David Silva is starting. Hundred percent. You've lost your mind. KDB and David Silva are both starting. No, 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 no. KDB hundred percent. Yeah, you know David. That's that's not even a yeah. But David Silva has to play. I can't lie. Yeah. It has to be KDB and Cesc. No yeah, way. Yeah, it has to be. There's it has no to be. It has to be. How can you, Cesc, they don't win anything. How can you get more no, midfielders? No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. but what I'm saying, based on what I'm saying, all-time Premier League. All-time Premier League, all-time Premier League bro. Of course, it's based on who, like winning stuff. Okay, okay right, so now you're not adding that on it. So are we based on Yeah, that's different. All right, if it's that, then we'll say Yaya Torre. Yeah, then who are you? No, we're not putting David Silva instead of Yaya Torre. Are we like we doing it based on the better player? Yaya had the best prime. But mm. Stavis Silva was better over more consistent years, bro. Then yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, no, he was. 100%. From, he was doing it in 11-12, bro. Did, did yeah. it not come together the same season? Yeah, but he was doing it from 11-12 all the way to the season, even the Silver, season before even he left. Prime Silva or Prime Sesk uh, for Arsenal, who are you taking in that c- CM spot? Come on, man. You know the answer. Oh, crazy. I think my answer is a bit too biased. Sesk yeah. was I think Sesk was. He was. He was. Yeah, no, he was Sesk. Sesk at the age, age, exactly. The age that he was doing yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. He was doing this thing. And he was a captain. I can't knock right. And, and exactly, right. captain as well, and bro. Right. He, yeah. Like him playing Chambers at that age, it's like. It's like I forgot that Henri was the main man sometimes yeah. in that team as well, bro. The way Fabregas was Come moving. On, bro. He, nah, young Cesc was cold. Look at this year. The year we got to the Champions League final, bro. 17 yeah, years of age and he was starting every game. We're talking about guys that have like won the league 
being the main no, guy. No, no, if you put it that way, then it's different. Then yeah, I'm putting, yeah, and, and yeah, yeah I'll probably put Silva, make... longevity, yeah, I'll put yeah. Silva ahead of Yaya. Peak, probably put Yaya because yeah, of that one season. It's more interesting to have the conversation in terms of ability than mm. who wins. I think so as well. It's way more Do you know why? Do you know why? Because yeah, but that's all right. Let's put it in, in ability. You don't think Prime Silva is better than Prime Sesk for Arsenal? Yeah, that's mental. Like that's mental still. It's t- it's Sesk is unreal, but, but I, you still I would still put Silva. Silva what, Sesk, still put what Sesk was doing was crazy. No, I, was. I think I think Silva I think Fabregas well was, was more uh, complete, bro. More complete footballer than, than Silva. Yeah, even in deep. Anyway, I think Sesk I think he was. Deep, yeah, Sesk could play Sesk ten, eight, eight six. He can he can play all all three. He can play all three. He can score goals. He can score goals. He can create goals. But Silva technically technically a better player. Sesk much more. And he probably he probably like wowed me more in the sense of what he did with the football yeah. but Fabregas I just think he 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 was just more of a complete footballer for me for me but it depends like you said if we're doing it based off ability or uh, thing. but then because if you go complete you put Sesc against Yaya you could just put Yaya Torre if you put ability Yaya Torre is a yeah yeah no. They've got, they've got, I can't lie. Whoever that like sentiment is, they've got, yeah, they've got yeah, everything in the middle. You know what, it comes down to bias. No, no, Yaya Torre, the level, his quality of goal, ca- his goal, goal catalogue, catalog, yeah. the quality of it, yeah. unbelievable. Unreal, yeah. Yeah. This guy was scoring worldies that like, every other day, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's not even no, funny. But even the first season he came to City, they told him, yo, players are six. Just feel like the league. Bro, by the, but I think by December, he was playing number 10, bro. He said, yo, let me go 10 and do my thing. You know what? No, no, I think because yeah. because I, yeah. 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 I think because we got to speed it up as well. Nigel I think I think yeah. we'll go. I'll go with Silva yeah. because of the longevity. Yeah. Um, so how many okay, is that for City? Uh, so that's five. Wait, but when you say longevity, five, five or six? You, yeah, five and three. Yeah, five. Yeah, five. See so when you say five, longevity, right are, are we not counting? Five, three. Five, five, three. Three. five, five, three. When you're saying longevity, are we talking about? Their actual careers in the Premier League. No, no, no. Don't want to talk about Chelsea. Arsenal, no, this guy is Arsenal, trying to be Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Arsenal, shameless, Arsenal. man. He tried. This guy is trying to say, well, are you yeah. trying to back you get your rivals? Well, I know, shameless. I'm not saying I'm not Chelsea. No, no, no. So, Campbell was alright at Tottenham as well. He was alright at Tottenham as well. I only won him a League Cup. No, no, cool, cool. Alright, we'll go Silva. So, left wing. Hmm. Because if you man have, I'm putting Perez in there. No, I'll put Alexis. Oh, oh I'll put Alexis. Or oh, Perez. Yeah, yeah. But Perez was played here, no, you know. Perez, I, oh, I love Perez. Oh, one, oh, two. Perez, Perez was crazy, crazy, bro. But I think, I think, I think Alexis was the better footballer. But Easily Perez as well was ridiculous, me. though, bro. What Perez, Perez wasn't like your normal nah, traditional winger. I know, winger. I know. But think it was about like a hybrid I know, I know winger about to say, like, bro, was fake. I know you're about to say because he's and he was one of the first wingers to to come to the Prem and be be that way and play that way. And yeah, we however, were the however, we played, yeah. you think about Alexis, sixteen, seventeen, mm, bro. Yeah. Or seventeen. He's a fake. I love. Fake, I love Alexis. Fake footballer. Sometimes there, yeah, I used to have them combos. Alexis or Hazard. You get. Yeah. We, we've Alexis. had them combos too. You get. You know yeah. what I'm saying. I loved Alexis. Sometimes yeah. don't get me wrong. That whole tenure at Arsenal from fourteen, fifteen to sixteen, seventeen, or the first half of seventeen, eighteen. Mm. Love the guy in it. You get. Mm. But you know it was with Bobby Perez, mate. Do you know what? But then again, had everything, it's, bro. it's what we just said longevity, it's what we're basing on. Because I'm just basing off ability now. Obviously, Alexis wasn't there for too long. I won an FA what Cup. I'm saying. Community so, Shield. I so, think. if we're talking yeah. longevity, Perez has definitely got more of a bigger mm. legacy. All right, whoever uh-huh. you guys put, you've got Perez or Alexis. Who are you rising for that left wing spot? Well, Sane. Oh, Sane is the only one. No, Sterling. Sterling as well. <laughs> Sterling's definitely not getting in there. No, but I think yeah, yeah, I'd put yeah, Sterling no. over Raza, Sane. in terms of numbers, he's, he's the most consistent out of all of them. Yeah. If we're being honest, ability but wise, ability near. wise, I wouldn't really put him near. No, please, 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 please don't. No it might, uh, honestly, no, it might be in Walter. I would put, um, <laughs> I would put Perez over <laughs> over Alexis. Perez, yeah. Right he, he, no, but because you, 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 you can have Perez, you can have because of because of at the time yeah. he was unreal, yeah. but also yeah. the achievements, the achievements, yeah. 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 Perez over Alexis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the achievements and stuff. It makes sense. If you're putting him, of course I do. Yeah. So what's that? Five four. Five. Yeah, five four. Yeah, five four. To to City. City, but You're losing close. again. Like, you've been losing a lot today. But oh, oh, it's two positions left. This is good. All right, right wing. I think you might have to say. Oh. We've got what? We've got. I've got Bernardo Yumbo. Silva. I've got. I've got, got Grian Mores. Take <laughs> your pick. We've got Kyle Saka. <laughs> <Kyle Rennie. laughs> I'm thinking of the right wingers that we've had. We've got Freddie Yumberg. Theo Walcott. Ooh. Ooh, Walcott is more of a shot than Saka. Yeah. I can't lie. That's not a bad one. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather put I, that I, over no, Mores. No, no. I know who's the better footballer, but. Wait, who you got? <laughs> 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 That's shameless. Well, like, I'm I don't know who's the better footballer, but. Mahrez, Bernardo Silva. Over Mars? 
No, 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 no. Bernardo Silva. I'm putting Bernardo Silva. Yeah, no, no. no I don't think that's fair. Why? I can't lie, but Bernardo for me, I've told you, innit? If, yeah, Silva's yeah. Get, if David Silva's getting in, but Bernardo has to get in as well. Yeah, but you think he's better? I'm thinking you think Bernardo Silva's better? Bernardo Silva's better. 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 Bernardo Silva's if we're talking ability wise, it's a combo. But I love David Silva though. No, no, I he feel is, like he I'm, I'm, I'm turning my back on David Silva because I love David Silva. Nah, he's fake. Days. He's fake. But oh, why for that? I <laughs> 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 can't even be passionate about the game no more. I can't even be passionate about the game. I put Burkham on the right. No, fuck off. Man. Oh, <laughs> fuck off, man. No, bro, this is not we, bro. Yeah, I found him now. Give me the cup. <laughs> Are you high five in the with a back door? No, like he's that. <laughs> 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 high five, no, applause. And straight high five. five. Hey, Where's no, the no, card? Where's the card? Listen, hey, no, it was funny, no, man. That yeah, disrespect to one of my goals today. He ain't no right winger. That guy crazy. is a yeah. 10 and a 10. No, 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 but I'm oh, trying to get him crazy. in the team, bro. I'm saying, how is he not in the team? Know, this is my point. No, that's no, why I wanted 4-4-2. Him and Aguero are going to miss out. Oh, no, no. no. If, if, yeah. if, if no, we're no, playing 4-4-2, it's Henri and Burkamp. That's what I'm saying. That's what it had to be. It has to be Henri and Burkamp. Do you know why that's difficult? It's like saying do an all-time like 4-3-3 with Serie A. When yeah. the greatest players, they all played in like four four two positions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it's what I mean? True. Well, right. So like the Arsenal team, it was always kind of like that. But then again, the Burkamp misses out in it. So we're saying Bernardo. So, so right wing. Yeah, Bernardo. 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 So, so yeah, it's and it's yeah. there, bro. Yeah. Yeah. No, you got you got um. I know you got yeah. We're forgetting someone, man. Titi. Arsenal has someone. Who, bro? I'm thinking right now. Right wing. Carnu. Come on, man. <laughs> right wing. Right wing is bro. Youngberg was cold though. Yeah, Youngberg. That's your. That's the only guy. Yeah, Youngberg. Youngberg was cold. Um, Pepe, bro. Cold, you know. Pepe, 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 Pepe as well. Pepe was alright, man. No, that's yeah, it. Yeah, You've got no. all right. So Bernardo, 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 and then yeah, up front, I'm Bernardo. assuming we're gonna so go. So who's got more players then? TT. So, so six, six five. five City. Yeah, six yeah. five City. That's crazy. In the past ten years only. Yeah. Yeah. So what's that? Basically. Three three one. <laughs> three one, man. Three one. I told you this is all. Bad day in the office. We'll do. All right, we'll do some speed runs because I want to get these out. I beg you, unlock quickly. But these ones we'll keep brief because I wanna. Cause there's some good ones. I don't want to just skip them out. Cause we're not gonna have a chance to. Okay, do this let again. me let me let me say this one. Okay, cool. Speed on, speed on. Let me see what you lot think. Yeah. Pep decides he's gonna leave at the end of the season. Yeah. Do you believe that Arteta, if he was given the job, he would leave right now? No. But he wouldn't. But he would be dumb not to go. Why would he? You got everything you want, Arsenal. Nah, man. So you don't. If so, if. If City come calling, you don't think Arteta's picking up and going? Nope, he's got no connection with that club. It's just he, do, he was already there because he learned off his friend Pep Guardiola where he was working at. That's it. He's got no affiliation, nothing to do with Manchester City. At Arsenal, he was our club captain there. Do you get? We loved um, Nick Arteta, you know what I'm saying? He captained us. Do you get? Mm. He, 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 there's, there's, there's something there, you know what I'm saying? It's Arsenal is in his heart, do you get? Yeah. He's created a culture within this club. He's done that off his own back because he loved the club. So you don't think... Because obviously winning the league is a huge thing. If he doesn't win it this year, you don't think like he, he looks at that project there and says, I can, I can get a lot more out of it. Arteta has got so much backing, yeah, and so much faith shown to him from the owners, yeah, mm. that I believe Arteta will never leave Arsenal until he's won everything. Mm. Oh, get the hell out of here. <laughs> get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> hey, that deserves a card, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what is this guy talking about? Do you think it's some fantasy thing or something? Hey, I said what I said. Nah, <laughs> man. You're so heartfelt. Well, like, well. this guy was telling us <laughs> some mad story, bro. No one believes the story, Sway. Because we have to like speed through it. Okay, that's what. What, what do you think? I don't think he will leave next season. But if he never won that in next season as well, and City said, "Yo, come true," I think he might. He might think about it. Man. Why would he want to leave Arsenal as a failure after everything that he's done? Surely he cares about his legacy, you know? No, so but I don't think it's a failure. He's not a failure. If he doesn't win anything at Arsenal. Yeah, I don't think it's a failure. I, I mean, if after you see the amount of he's money he's spent. If you see, see after the amount of money he's spent. What would you do as a man? What? Is this your way of t- telling no, I'm us asking. you go from Arsenal and you move on no, to better? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie, it's true. But, but, but what <laughs> would you do? You're going to be better though. What would you do? Knowing that like, City, you got the backing. 
Mm. Obviously, we don't know what's gonna happen with the charges, innit? Yeah. I f- I think I do. Hey, shake, I can't like can't, it depends. It depends because, like he was saying at the start, no affiliation with the club and stuff like that. I'm I'm that type of person. I don't know what type of person you are, but if yeah. I love a club and I see a connection with that club, like I that. wouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't leave. Especially but don't you if think they're doing well and they're still competing. Okay. I wouldn't. But don't wouldn't. you think next season if you don't win nothing? It's gonna start getting shaky. Yeah, I'll tell you, it's gonna start coming out. I've, I've, I've personally said You know this as well. I don't think so. You know that as well. Yeah, yeah, no, I've personally said this. I don't think will be out. Next season, if you don't win as well. I think there will be. Recently, there was, bro. 100%. Just recently, there was. Your fan base is crazy. No, no, no. Those are the delinquents in our fan base that have never, that have never, that have never wanted him to get, that still out regardless to get. Those are the fans that just don't want to like change their mind to get, forget them. Ignore them, you get. But as a fan base, <laughs> I'm talking about as an actual fan base, <laughs> where everyone's actually agreeing on the same thing. There's no way people turn Arteta. Arte- we got love for Arteta. Like we want Arteta to succeed. Mm-hmm. You get. I hear that. I hear like Arteta is a people's person. Like if, when you go to the games, bro, you see Arteta on the touchline. He's always coming to the fans. Like, like yeah, he sees yeah. one of us. You get. Like yeah. he's got us all in it together. Yeah. Like we're yeah. like a family now. Yeah, you get me? Believing. Yeah. We're yeah. believing yeah. now. We're like a family now. I you know what I'm saying? All right, next All right, one. Let's go to the next one. That one is speed run. So I think this go. is the last one, though. No? I, I, I don't. I don't know it. I can't unless, see. Okay, <coughs> unless, unless you've got one more, this is the last one okay. from what we've got. Oh yeah, I remember. It. All right, so based off, and I've said this in the past, mm. Arsenal's European heritage and how they play in Europe and the Porto game is kind of put put that into a factor they let's say they kind of struggled yeah to make something of that. They've got Bayern next. A lot of Arsenal fans are confident in it. Maybe revenge, maybe not. The point is. We've put down that City win three Champions Leagues before Arsenal win one. I think it's possible still. What's more likely? What's more likely? What do, you, do you think? Do you think Arsenal can win the Champions League this season as a City nah, fan? Nah, 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 nah. Do you think Bayern? Uh, I think even them? if they get through Bayern somehow, they'll go out the next round. To have a in Madrid. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you ain't got you the minerals. Can, you think we can beat Madrid? No. You ain't got the minerals, bro. I'll be honest. Like, this, is it just about like, minerals? Or is bro, it just about it's about minerals, minerals bro. Because no, Man City... Man City is, a, is a factor. Bro, mm. You're going to need no, minerals, 100%. but is it just about minerals? Yes, it is. Because Man City <laughs> should have won the Champions League a long time ago, bro. Yeah. They never had the minerals. Let's be honest, bro. You bugged out there, bro. No, because Chelsea... <laughs> Chelsea, no, because I'm thinking of Chelsea. Because <laughs> no, I don't think Chelsea <laughs> had the minerals when they beat... Well, they did, but when they beat Bayern, let's yeah. say, like, no one expected that. That's and, a fluke. And a lot of people call it a fluke yeah. when they beat Bayern. And then the City game as well, like, everyone kind of expected City to no, win No, no, sorry, sorry. But you're talking about a Chelsea that experienced Mourinho. That's a different monster, bro. Even mm. Madrid, when they went on to win La Decima and all the Champions Leagues after, Mourinho. it was after the yeah. back of Mourinho. No, no, I hear it. Mourinho hear it. changes a whole yeah. club's mentality. No, I hear it, but it's I'm, true. I'm saying, that's I'm a good saying, point. I'm saying the way teams did, that they perform in the in the in, in the in the Champions League and, how, and the teams that they come up against. <laughs> I got him rocked. <laughs> and the teams, rocked. No, no, the teams they come up against. Right 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 <laughs> Porto, Porto's like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. After that game, I don't see. Arsenal. No, they they rocked Arsenal. I can't lie. Like even if you lot beat them, they shattered your confidence a little bit. Poor. Yeah, yeah. They you know did. Is, but but though, then yeah. again, I don't think you're gonna play a team in the Champions League like Porto exactly again. That's true. Say. That's true. I feel like that was a test. Yeah. yeah. That that team needed yeah. because it was, it showed the team that look mm. you're gonna face all types of teams in this competition and you've got to find a way yeah. to get through to get. Yeah. Obviously, we got through by penalties. You know, we done it to get. We still went through. I feel like when you look back in that first leg, we should never conceded that goal. The, the, the <sighs> manner that we oh, conceded, yeah, well. the they manner that we chance. conceded, they had, they had a, a chance, chances. bro. They had a couple yes. of chances. The one that hit the crossbar like four yeah. times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cool. But the way we conceded that goal, I hear it. I hear it. Was a joke yeah, yeah. because Martinelli. Showed a bit of inexperience there. You get, mm. but that's that's what it comes down to. That's what it comes down to, bro. But I'm saying, I feel like. These lot are gonna learn to get game mm. by game. Even if let's say we get through to Bayern, we get to the semi final, we crash out. They're definitely gonna learn from that mm. and go try go harder the next year mm. to get because but, these yeah, don't need okay. that experience. You know but what the saying? point, yeah, the point in this question is how much experience is needed in this Arsenal team because let's say you crash out now against Bayern or yeah. even in the next round, yeah. possibly City win it again. Yeah. You never know. That's yeah. another Champions League. Yeah. Mm. So next season. Like it can it can, it can add it on can, yeah. to the point it, where until so Arsenal finally all these players have been playing in the Champions League for five because all of them it's their first time no all yeah. of them or um, most no. of them so, so they Jorginho's played Jorginho's played, played. Jorginho oh, yeah, yeah. Has played. Gabriel Bagalas has played on the, with Lil yeah, he goes down uh, in group stages and that <laughs> no, it's no, 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 yeah, no yeah, really yeah, count like, but a lot um, of them like it's their first time um, 
in the first team, let's say Havertz yeah. and Fabio Vieira is playing the Champions League. No, no, but I'm saying I'm saying starters because starters. I wouldn't say Jorginho or or um, starters. All right. What's Party's his name? Not a starter, isn't it? Yeah, right no. now. so cool. Um, so it's just Gabriel yeah, and Havertz. George, George, George started when they won it. When they won against City, bro. Yeah. He was starting. He started against Madrid. He started against. Um, no, not for Arsenal though. I'm saying starters. For oh, for Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah, playing starters for Arsenal, Arsenal oh, now. No. Yeah, Zinchenko. I'm saying no. Oh, Zinchenko. Zinchenko Honestly, I don't. I don't think it comes down to the player. I think it comes more from the manager. You know, I think yeah, the manager needs well. to ins- instill more like, Wait, experience and win, confidence. Are you talking about who's played and who's won it? Yeah, I'm saying Arsenal. Oh no, yeah, they say played. I did say played. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. So until until Arsenal get a manager. That has won the Champions League previously yeah. to manage and take them to that. Even even if he doesn't take them to Champions League, but just again, just that little bit of experience, that cutting edge. It's the first time that Arteta is playing in the Champions League, really, like that. And players, I don't forget Mesh as well. Like you see it in it. Like it's gonna take a few years for that to for you to mm. even start competing for the Champions League. In my opinion, yeah. City I think have got way more, of, well, a higher chance of winning three. All they need is two more. But it depends, though. Yeah, let's say we do win the league this season but we crash out of the Champions League, then I can put a case forward and I say, look, we like don't rule us out of winning the Champions League next season because Arsenal have shown me that, you know, they've competed, they fell short at the end mm. of the league title and then they won it the next the, the season mm. after, right? And the same thing, I could apply that same logic to the Champions, Champions League. League as well. get, I could use that and I've got the data to back me up, right? Mm. <coughs> but at the same time I feel like with the way we play our defensive structure and that especially like that you've seen this season mm. that could help in winning the Champions League mm. you get because I feel like having a strong strong defence yeah and being defensively set up well mm. helps win the Champions League I'm not I'm not completely denying and saying it's impossible however as an Arsenal fan for a very long time seeing how they've played in Europe especially recently as well it's that DNA and that U- heritage that you, you don't have European about. heritage. Yeah. You don't, you don't. Um, but you've like, not never had it as well. No, no, no. But no, no, no. European did, heritage. Did, yeah, to win it. That's that's yeah, that's Pep where it did, changes. To win it is is a different thing, and that's where you add heritage as well. Arsenal have had big games in the Champions League, like um, Henri at the Bernabeu or five one in San Siro against Inter, or whatever it was. Like, there's been big games. However, that is not the same team mm. at all. Complete. And these these, these players are all like. Young experience, not all of them, but inexperienced in Europe. It is a young team, yeah. And they're new to this. I think, yeah. So I don't think it will be this season. Or like, I think it will take a while for this it to happen. This season is funny because, like, with the Bayern um, tie, I'm mm. not like completely expecting us to win. Mm. That's still a test for them. Do you get? Mm. Because Bayern are still a top yeah. team. Do you get? They got a lot of um, quality individual players. Mm. <coughs> I still feel like it will be very close. It's not going to be easy. Mm. You know, we've got the first leg at home. Mm. Um, it is a big test. You know, the, I don't think this team or these players have come up against a team like Bayern with their individuals. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, exactly. So, different playing style as well. So, it'll be very different. You get Champions mm. League is completely different. Mm. Just because Bayern are doing bad in the league doesn't mean no, it's going to be exactly. an easy game. That's, yeah. that's, 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 that's the thing about the Champions, Champions League. league. Yeah. You get because form, so form goes out the yeah. window when it's Champions League. Form goes out that window. And what you, what you said about a new, it's like a new team to them. It's like this Arsenal team is so used to English teams playing against these Premier League 100%. teams that they're so used to mm. that they can find a way. They can mm. learn about yeah. them. The Champions League is completely exactly. different. You've seen it against Porto, bro. They don't know what to expect. Exactly. Yeah. They don't know they what, don't to, what expect. to expect. And it's like you can even say it's even different to Europa League. Even if you have a Porto in the Europa League, it's different to a Porto in the Champions League. I don't know how to explain it, but that's just how it is. It's like when Milan, like I'm talking, I'm going to speak about Milan now. But when we play in the Europa League, it's different to when we play in the Champions League. I feel like we've gotten unlucky in the Champions League. We beat PSG, Mm. uh, beat Newcastle as well. No one expected us to beat Newcastle. Mm. No one even thought we would even come close to beating Newcastle. Even we did. We even United PSG as well. Yeah, yeah, we beat yeah. PSG and Newcastle. Yeah. And when we had that tie, no one expected that. But if you put us in Europa League, I wouldn't be surprised if we get slapped by Carabag. And it's the same team. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just, no, it's, it's just, tournaments, it's different yeah. tournaments. And it and our players have to be adaptable as well. They've got to show that adaptability yeah. of coming up against different type of players. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, for example, you, you'll get them, like, for example, we come up against Wendell, someone mm. that's physically strong, yeah. someone that's like, he'll do anything to mm. get you down. He's a wild character. Yeah. You're not going to really get them to have players in the Premier League. Mm. Do you get? Mm. Oh, yeah, who's winning? Who's winning? I'm you know what's going to happen. You confident? confident? Score yeah. prediction. Say it on the result. camera right now. I'm Don't hide. Get, no, You're no, flip no. flop. No. People know How? you, bro. How? You're flip flop. Wait, wait. Uh, He's a flip flop. <laughs> what is it? It's Etihad, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say okay, with your chest right now. And Rodri's fit. Yes. Okay, I'm confident we can get a result. What does that mean? Draw? Are you going to win? 
I can't say oh, am I going to win. Only Allah knows. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Only Allah knows you know, it's like, crazy. Yeah, yo, things, you're like, fraud. You're fraud. You're fraud. Ramadan. You're fraud. You're fraud. All right, are you winning the league? If like, I think if you, you had can to. win the league, yeah. Oh, you can. Wait, you beat City. Do you win the league? We have got a great chance, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're sitting on the fence. Why are you sitting on the fence? You are, bro. Sitting on the fence. Are you winning the league? Yes, and we're beating them. Oh. We're beating them 3-1. We're beating them 3-1. We're beating them 3-1. 3-1 at the Etihad, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I don't, think, yeah, I don't think you're going to score, bro. What do you think? I think City, City win. I don't the know. league or the, the game? Uh, the game. And the league. And the league. Yeah. No, no, no. But the league is still... All right. No, no, no. Actually, Liverpool's a bit techie. Yeah, because Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool's bro. still there as well. That's what off, I'm saying. I don't, I don't want to say it's I think, I think they'll fall No, no, chill, 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 chill. But um, I think, see, it's only because it's at the Etihad. Yeah. And Arsenal... There's more pressure on them as well. More pressure on them, but Arsenal's first Premier League win against City in a very long time at the Emirates. At the Etihad, I don't know when was the last time. Even if Arsenal it's a draw, it won't, be the, it won't be a bad result for us. No, it won't. It won't at all. It'll I feel feel like that's a very good result. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I, I think they have to win. That's the difference. Good result. If yeah, you, we have if to win. And yeah. I feel like this season we're well more better equipped. Yeah. To, you get me? We've got the players available now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Whereas last season we never. Do you get? Yeah, yeah. And I feel like this season City at home haven't really been against the big teams. Haven't yeah. really been impressive like that, bro. Mm. I've seen mm. Spurs, Chelsea get a result. I saw Man United hold them. I think there's no excuses with anything like everyone's fit, no? Yeah. No one's injured on both sides except Martinelli. But I'd rather trust out anyway. Um, oh, disrespectful man. Uh, man. Nelly, this Nelly disrespect, like. No, it's not disrespect. I we need more Nelly. More Nelly is very Trussard. important for us. Against City, I would prefer Trossard. That's what I'm saying. Why we need that pace? Trossard. Uh, uh, when you transition. beat, uh, you beat them early on in the season. Yeah, and he came you come and helped us change again. Who? Martin Nelly. Scored a goal. Did he score? Yeah. Oh wait, when did Trossard? Reflected goal. Was it the yeah. Yeah. I heard that. I heard that. When you beat them, why did I think it was Trossard? No, no, it was Martin Nelly. When you beat them. Yeah, but hello, I'm just Remember he scored he, 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 Ake went in No I know I know But yeah, I wait, did Trossard ever Trossard score against C? Trossard started Has Trossard scored Trossard scored in a t- um, community show Oh that's it Alright yeah, yeah, cool 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 That was it Okay I'm getting the games confused But anyways let's, Trossard, let's see what the uh, impact of Nah no, he is yeah. You've got a good depth In that position now Let's see what what, what happens on Sunday Inshallah I think it was a good Good little Debut segment New format Inshallah Inshallah What's he, what's he saying inshallah for inshallah we win oh okay as well to say sure, well, I thought the old side <laughs> yeah, I thought the old side we going back get off yeah, yeah, yeah. alright Livs thank you for coming on my boy appreciate it thank you bro thank you I'm sure we're going to have you back on soon Santi as always it's yes. been a pleasure my boy my boy any last words for the people <laughs> yeah last words for and M Dov I'm just saying the 10k thing innit yeah, no, you can if it doesn't happen, that, but yeah, that's poor, please, man. please, 10K, guys, you have yeah, to, you have to. Now, Wallah, it's not a lot. The like, fact that we're still on six is a bit, is a bit cray cray. Shut Allah. But that's then again, the consistency is there now. Yeah, I'm editing. Ooh. Yeah. So let's see what happens. But boys, cool. thank you for your support. Um, let us know what episode you want to see next, actually, because, well, we've got a few episodes lined up, but then after this, the next recording, we've got a bit of a break. So let us know what format you want to see next. And uh, yeah, man, don't be a bitch. Come on. <laughs>